drink with my best friends. Some people say we have a problem. But every night I make a new best friend. And the only problem is we like having a good time. Hello, 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 everyone. It is 8 p.m. It is Thursday night, and you know what that means. What does that mean? What does it mean? It's another episode. It's another episode of Between Two Beards right here on Love Wrestling. We already got someone in the chat saying hi. Yeah, we already got Sierra saying hello. 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 Hope you're doing well, Sierra. Thank you for being here. Pluggo, how are you doing, man? I am good. It has uh, been a few days since I officially became Canadian. You're um, officially Canadian. Are you are you an actual citizen? I've got dual citizenship. Uh, per dual that. citizenship. I, wow, I passed, that's fancy. I passed the test because I ride with Speedball Mike Bailey and the IWS crew this Saturday night. Um, yeah, she All said. Right. Sierra said she's doing well. How about you? Glad, glad. How about you, JPJ? As a as a Canadian, this is I have to be polite and say how about you? Yeah, I mean I'm doing pretty well. I, I good week of wrestling. I've got a lot to talk about in the wrestling world. Was Feeling a pretty great good. Great week of wrestling. Yeah, we had a great pay per view on Sunday night. I think out of AEW that we're going to discuss. I was at the site of Monday Night Raw this past week in Boston, yeah. Massachusetts. We can talk about that. I thought Dynamite what was that was like. Song. That was a lot of fun. It was a really good raw. The crowd was amped. It was, uh, it was good. Uh oh, I think you offended Ophelia. I think you offended. Are you Ophelia. asking if I said it, or are you going? Did you really say a boot? Which one I is mean, it, Ophelia? I you know. Listen, all I know is that I'm sitting there Sunday afternoon. It's a lovely Sunday afternoon. I'm putting away. Was it Sunday? I feel like it was Sunday. Yeah, it was Sunday. It was Sunday. Sunday. It might have been Sunday. GCW Sunday was on Sunday. IWS shows up to wreck some shit because they've got a big pay per view Saturday night in Montreal. Yeah. My boy Speedball Mike Bailey comes out to keep the peace. He keeps the peace. Then he decides to clock some dudes and start swinging on the GCW crew, essentially turning on them. Yeah, and their chants are going crazy. F Canada, F Canada, get out of here! They're throwing stuff. It's wild, and I'm sitting there knowing I can't go against my boy Speedball. I love Speedball Mike Bailey. So if Speedball Mike Bailey says we're not a fan of these GCW guys, well, damn it, I'm Canadian now. Wow, full fledged. I made the the pictures real. Me and Canadian. I'm in a tracksuit, got the Canadian flag and everything. We're there. The boys are going to take care of business on Saturday night. That's going to be a fun show. But yes, it should be. You it may be, be an honored Canadian, but you may not mock our beautiful language. Yeah, sir. that's what Ophelia I'm said. Working on it. I'm not. That's what mocking. Ophelia said. That is I'm what Ophelia said. Working on it. You're working on it. I can't. I just turned Canadian like three days ago. I'm trying to figure it out. If people want to in the chat want to tell me what's proper and not proper Canadian like lingo, then I'm game. But you know, I yeah. It's a very well known fact that it's a boot, and I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. I this is like the cancel plugo culture, man. That I mean, is you happening. just keep digging holes. Happens keep this, that digging happens holes. every week over the every week. Years. You're just digging a deeper grave. I just let I just sit here quietly. <laughs> I just sit here quietly. That's all. That's all I do. Listen, but we're about work. to we're, we're about to dive into a lot of wrestling stuff. You but know, before we do, some kinks, you know. Before we do. Let's talk about some of our sponsors here at Love Wrestling, and that starts with RK Athletics. You see their logo, you know, in all of our shows here on Love Wrestling, but you can go follow them right here at RK Athletics 1 on all social medias. Um, Rich King, member of LPW, member of the Rads, tag team champions, doing things all over Canada, but one thing that he is also very good at is personal training. Uh, so if you're looking to get in shape, you're looking to get a, a plan for when you go to the gym, a workout routine when you go into the gym, you're looking to work on your nutrition, just your mindset, anything like that, you're looking to get just healthier overall. RK Athletics is the group that you want to go to, and Rich King will guide you along the best way he knows how. So go give them a follow at okay. RK Athletics 1 on all social medias. Before you jump into the next sponsor, Philia said she'll take me under her wing and teach me the ways. I appreciate that. And yes, 
all of us Americans have the same. Yeah. Exactly. And Sierra's oh, congratulating you on being Canadian. Thank you, Sierra. It's, it's, we got it's Colt coming honor. in saying good evening, gentlemen. Appreciate that. Just like uh, just like with Ruby's turn this week. Like I oh, we're, we're gonna talk Soho. about that. We'll talk about that. So uh, we have Ophelia saying, Does every American talk the same way with the same accent? Yes. Yes. Do we? I think so. My accent's not the same as yours. I just right. I, I think so. Maybe, maybe to, to someone who's not an American, they would turn this on. I would assume, and they would hear both of us talk they and be like, "They're from different yeah. areas." I maybe. think they'd be able to tell. But is uh, yeah? And I, I mean, is that not? I don't know. Maybe. Mm. Do we sound the same in the chat? Cancel. She's always. I don't. I don't think we do. You, I feel you, my friend. We love you. Under the wing or out? I'll cancel me. Which one do you want? I don't know. <laughs> do but let's talk about Manscaped.com, huh? Manscaped.com, you put in that promo code Love Wrestling, you will get 20% off your first order plus free shipping worldwide. Anywhere, worldwide. Anywhere in the world. So, Canada, United States. Where Plug is from, apparently. Dual yeah. citizen. Plug. Yeah. He can get it shipped yeah, to him for, in for Canada free. and the United States for free. For free. And I'll be smelling good and I'll be looking good and I'll be Canadian feeling good and American. It'll be amazing. Yep. Manscaped.com. I have yet to decide what part of Canada I'm going to reside in yet, though. Oh, I'm not sure. I mean that that is a tough one. That is a. Uh... We might have a guest on a little bit later in the show yeah, that no, might be yeah. able to I help mean, us out. Because you figure you have, yeah, you got you can go. Are you going to go like? You get the you get the West with like Edmonton and all you know where our friends are from the love wrestling yeah. people the Montreal well, I did not sign off on plug from Canada uh, Ophelia saying we do not sound the same yeah you got and then you got the you know Montreal, Montreal Toronto you got all these people and then you got like are you gonna go like on the farms and like in the middle of nowhere like Brock Lesnar according he's to from? according to Drillbit Taylor that 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 Oscar winning movie. Uh, if you go far enough north in Canada, they pay you to take the land. So, wow, is that true? Yeah. yeah. Said, Apparently, you just need a good jacket and like a couple hundred bucks, and you're good to go. And then they'll pay you. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, we, <laughs> got, we got Culp saying, I mean, there are different accents within the states, but overall, we sound the same. Affiliate saying that is not true. Is that not true? Is that, is that he just made that up? Are you telling I, me all the drill I'm saying bit is I think, I think. If there was someone that was not from the United States or from wherever, they would be able to tell, listening to you and me, that we are from different areas. That's all I'm saying. Maybe. I don't know. Or is she saying not true about the land thing? She's saying not true about the land. Like, in, remember, you ever seen Drill Bit? Bro, Taylor? it's 2023. There's, nobody's giving away shit. Nobody's I'm giving away saying, shit. I, You're paying too much for whatever you I get. I thought no Drill matter Bit where you Taylor are. was a documentary. I, I don't even know what the real... hell Drill Bit Taylor is. It's a movie with Owen Wilson. He like nah. protects some high school kids from getting beat up. No, oh, never saw it. And he's homeless. I like Owen Wilson though. I'm an Owen he Wilson pretends kid. to be a teacher. It's amazing. You should watch it. It's, it's amazing. It sounds amazing it's that he wonderful. pretends to be. Yeah. Isn't that like so, every. So, it's a wonderful. Didn't Jack Black do that? <laughs> Cinema, yeah. Pretend to be a teacher. First of all, School yes. of Rock. You want to talk about a movie, School of Rock. <laughs> uh, but Jack Black pretended to be a teacher. This guy's pretending to be a teacher. Yeah. Do you remember the do you remember Bushwhacked, that old movie? No. With Daniel Stern, one of the guys from uh Marv from uh Home Alone. Same thing. He pretends to be like a Boy Scout leader, <laughs> takes him through like this hard ass. No? No, you I don't that? remember that. Right. No, well, I'll watch sorry. Drill Bit Taylor if you go watch All Bushwhack. Right. No, Drill Bit probably, Taylor is good. Yeah, that was have well. Anyway, time. that was the big like. Words that was his Owen Wilson, and you think it's a documentary? That was Owen Wilson's whole premise was like, Never I'm going to take, I'm going to take money from these kids, and then he falls, you know, he falls in love with some, one of the teachers, and then he, you know, obviously. He, he lo you know, he loves the kids because they become like friends and it's like a big thing. But his whole premise was, I'm going to make some money, buy me a nice winter jacket, move far enough north in Canada, and they pay you to take the land because nobody wants it because it's so cold and yada, yada, yada. But that's what he was Got trying it. to do. Got it. Fair. All right. 
That's fair. <laughs> That's what That's he fair. wanted to do. Was this in the height of Owen Wilson popularity? Was this around like the Wedding Crashers era? Yeah, yeah. This was like when like, he was at his height. Yeah, there, kinda. Yeah, it was. It was at his peak. Plus, it was about that peak of that whole like kind of movie genre fair. where fair. where it's. Fair. And then he was in that. He was kind of coasting off that fame. No, I don't truly think it was a documentary. Calm down, wordsmith. Two thousand eight. Wait, that seems later to me. You know, you're sounds so like 2008. Every, Cole, it was so 2008. Just... It does sound like every 90s movie ever made. You're right. But it was 2008. <laughs> it was. It's, it feels. Uh, it's 2008. What a, what a time. What a time in the I world. I don't even remember. I have no aspect of time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you could know. We could be talking about things that happened in the past and you could tell me it happened in 2008 or 1996. And I'd be like, all right, I, I have no. Full, full disclosure. Have no grasp. I what graduated high school in 2004. I feel like that was like two years ago. You feel like you graduated high school two years ago? Yeah, I, I just, I just feel like, like what? 2004 was like 20 years ago. Like that's crazy. It's to me. ridiculous. That's what I, I am. I am at my 20th this year, 2020. Yeah, yeah. The year of our Lord, 2023, we is my old. 20th anniversary of my high school graduation. We are oldest. So fuck you know. This that's why I go to bed crying every night. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. Some people do different things. Some people so, yeah. do yoga. I cry. So um, apparently but, I'm not starting my Canadian candidacy or residency off strong. No, they don't even want you in the country. They're making fun of the accent. Imagine I that. wasn't trying to imagine make fun that. of it. Imagine someone became a new citizen or got elect something. And the first thing they were like, how do you feel about being Canadian? They were like, let me tell you about it. What? They'd be like, get the fuck out of here. Does that not get said? And I'm being honest. It's their natural not... accent, I think. That some of them, not all of them. Are They're you not... not ever allowed to make an accent ever? I mean, I think if you gradually truly became a Canadian citizen. Wouldn't you okay? Would, if wouldn't you, you gradually gain... became a Canadian citizen <laughs> yeah, and you, you like earned the accent from living there? You can't you can't accelerate no. the process. You gotta okay, I'm just uh, what's the what's the grace period? How long do I got to be a Canadian? So you're telling me if I move to Puerto Rico tomorrow, it would be perfectly okay for me to I just start know. talking with, with a Puerto Rican accent. I'm just asking. What's I don't think the... that would be proper. I should learn the language, but like yeah. I don't think it would be proper for me to. That's what are you fair. talking about? That's they fair. would be I'm like just... this guy. Rat, this guy making fun. What? I'm just, I'm just checking. I'm just making sure. I don't want to offend my friends up north because I love them and I want to be I'm team IWS all day. Good lord. Oh well, here you go. See, you, to, <laughs> you can do whatever you, you want. You I cannot. <laughs> I don't think the people of Puerto Rico would let would agree with you. I don't think in that scenario. You, you could just you could just walk up and like punt a puppy and apparently like, oh, do whatever JPJ. I want. Hey, look at I love those rules. I love those rules. <laughs> And we got Culp saying between two beers, geology edition, maybe. Oh, Remember God. that time you had to pick out where Bulgaria was on a map on I <laughs> Mackie, was, Mackie and Rob's show? And you were close. But I was close. Like, yeah. yeah. I, I felt good about that. I felt good about that choice. You were so confident. You're like, oh, I was. I was confident. We know our I, stuff. We're smart. I was confident. I was like, I can pick out. Speaking of, if you haven't gone seen that, is that only on Fightful Select? That is only on five flows. You got to pay to see our faces on that channel. You do have to pay, but you should. You should pay because we were on uh, Maggie and Rob's show, and we did that, and they made me try to pick out Bulgaria, where Maggie is from, on a map. And I went in there super confident, and I did so, not get it right. He's like, I got this. I did not get it right, but I was close. So I was com- I, I, I feel good about my choice, but I was real confident. I was real confident. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, I've been there. They tend to enjoy embracing that culture. All right. Well, speaking of, I know, we're, I know, we're probably, good, but while we're on the topic of Canada, and we've got everyone in the chat, let's do it. Let's let's go back. Let's go back to last night. Jade Cardkill said she she made some yes. despair, she made some disparaging comments about yes, Canada. Yes, she did. And she called out Canada's best wrestler for next week in Winnipeg. Who should that be? Who everybody and their mothers trying to figure out who's from Canada is Camille part Canadian? What about Sasha Banks? Is she part Canadian? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. And I, I couldn't, I couldn't ride. I usually ride with Jane Cargill, but she was, she was talking shit, and I was like, you know what? I believe she, she called them whack ass Canadians. I believe yeah, that was that yeah. was the verbiage. Yeah, whack yeah. ass Canadians. What the hell is going on? Canada's yeah, getting a lot of was, shine. This well, week. who could it be? Again, I, I, I don't know everybody that's Canadian. Is Serena Deep Canadian at all? 
I don't know, but is she the best they have to offer in Canada? No disrespect. That's not to signed to another company. I mean, you can't have you who, Ty who Valkyrie. Be? Oh, chat, that's a good one. Chat. Who do you think is it? Affiliate? A, maybe it's affiliate. Maybe she could be affiliate. Could be affiliate. Maybe it's our friend TFA. Oh, that'd be all right. I'd be okay with that. Zoe Sager. Who knows? Oh, I'd be okay There's with that too. LPW people. I would be. More Jody than threats than available. Yep. Oh, well, Affiliate's affiliate is saying that Taya Valkyrie is her actual guest. What are the chances it's going to be you versus Jade, Affiliate, at Dynamite Winnipeg on Wednesday? If you had to ballpark it. I, I, I like your chances. Oh, come on now. May, is she Canadian? I don't think so. The chances are never a, a 0%. Are never, never zero. zero. I love it. I love the confidence. Good Flex That's a good on. answer. The chances Flex are never on. 0%. So you um, watch your back. I, I, I think like Taya Valkyrie that. is a good choice. I think that's a good guess. Um, yeah, I think that's a good guess. Are we? Now, he told me it was coming around nine, but it's a little earlier than that. Early. <laughs> I don't know hey. if he's ready. Friends. I don't know if he's ready. Friends, lend me your ears. You're in for it. I don't. Yeah, I don't know if that. I'm gonna wait. Ready. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Send me a message saying you're ready. My best friend he said around might, nine to me, so I don't know if he's just popping in. Tonight. I don't know if he's just anyway. popping in now just to get a lay of the land. <laughs> but uh all right. Should we talk about revolution? I feel like revolution was yeah, let's talk about it. And while we're talking about it in the chat, let us know what you thought of revolution as well as give me some tips to be a proper Canadian because I need sure. apparently I need it. Well, the first tip should be not to make done. Fun of how the people I talk. learned I today. Mean, I feel like that would be that's a good benchmark start. Is that thing. was that? Uh, yeah, oh, I figured that out. That word apparently is like a, is not it's not cool. It's not something to mess around. Noted. Okay. Noted. Um, we had a gigantic preview of AEW Revolution last week. Uh, we had Big Money Drew, Drew Nicholas on. We had yep. Mr. Warren Hayes on. We went two hours talking in depth. It was a lot of fun about AEW Revolution uh, and HEW Sports. You are correct, my friend. You say you want a revolution. The Beatles. The Beatles. Um, and we were all, there were three or four matches that we were all excited for, but then the rest of us were like, eh. We were kind of like, we think it's going to be good. But uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm, try, I'm trying to segue. I'm trying to segue. I'm trying to segue. No, 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 no. That's that's a callback from a couple weeks ago. Oh, yeah. No, is it? Yeah, when you got angry, you got angry at that guy. You I'm still mad at that guy. Why? The loser. Just because I'm not going to, yeah. I'm not going to put him on uh, no, a, give him any shine. I did, however, just for funsies, stop by his uh, Twitch stream that he ran right after our show that night. Yeah. He had one viewer. I think it was me. And he was just sitting, <laughs> he was just sitting on his couch. That's all he's doing. Wasn't even talking. Oh, yeah. I was Keyboard like, do warrior. You, do you, boo? Do you, boo? Keyboard warrior. That's what we call it. Anyway. Yeah, uh, we, got to talk, we got to talk about some real wrestling. Because Revolution, we went into it. Was it was good. It was very great. good. It was very, very good. Yeah, great. Uh, I loved it. I thought it was excellent. We're going to dive in and talk about some of the stuff that happened there, but I thought uh, it exceeded my expectations because I feel like the four of us were in agreement, but I feel like we weren't the only four that felt like the the build, at least, and like getting there was a little lackluster. Uh, but I thought the pay-per-view was very, very good. Um, obviously, we had, uh, oh my God, what do they call it? Is it zero hour? Is that what they call zero it? hour. Yeah, right. So that we had zero hour, which only had the one match, which was Mark Briscoe versus the, and the Lucha Bros, which is obviously Penta and Ray Phoenix versus Ari Davari and Varsity Athletes. I will say this: the entrance that the Varsity Athletes had, uh, I very much enjoyed that. I very much enjoyed that. Yeah. Where they had it like it was like a sports game basketball entrance, where Mark Sterling was introducing them one by one like they were and now you know six foot three like you like they were announcing them like to the sporting arena yeah they got a good they got a good thing now i like that i like that whole presentation that was like i was like that was excellent um this match was all right i mean it's a pre-show match it is what it is but uh, again i think mark mark briscoe and and the lucha brothers was a perfect little trio there i thought they were excellent uh this match was unannounced too wasn't it it was just like 
because I didn't even know they had a pre-show match until I was watching it. I think they announced it. Uh, Unless they did it on Rampage and I missed they, it. They might have. It was a late announcement. Um, but, I mean, I thought the match was really good, as you would expect. I mean, the Josh Woods, and I know we've, I, we've talked about him briefly before, but that Josh Woods guy, I like that Josh Woods guy. Uh, he's impressed me when I've seen him. But, yeah, you know, it's a typical, it's a trios match, so it's going to be exciting. I feel like AEW, those trios matches are always a fun time. Um, and I thought this match was good. I, I, you know, it was a, it was good to get Mark Briscoe and the Lucha Brothers out there in front of the live crowd, kind of get the crowd excited for the evening. They won, as would be expected. Um, but I thought it was a kind of a nice, uh, you know, a nice, nice uh, start. Little, nice to little get little chicken nugget to start the show. You know, I, I'm bringing I, I, liked, I liked the zero hour this because they kind of did a little different. You know, RJ City interview and everybody. Yeah, I love RJ City. Good More to see disrespect him to my man, RJ City. Always. Everybody disrespect him. And then Tony Storm and Soraya spray painting him and stuff. Not cool. Not cool. No. Well, you know uh -oh. what? We're doing it. Uh -oh. We, uh -oh. we, we, we're, doing we were told it. he's ready. Uh-oh. The best friend is here. Ah! Where's his face? Oh. Just wait. Just wait. There's a reveal. There's a reveal. Oh. Gentlemen, there's been some changes over at Castle Rosemont. <laughs> there have been some changes, and we're not talking the David Bowie version. We're talking. Are you are you American now, and I'm Canadian? We're just swapping like Freaky Friday. This, this fucking hose head calling me Canadian, <laughs> calling me American. No, what, no. what does that mean, hose head? <laughs> You would know if you were Canadian. This is why I did not. I, I, sign I off just on started you. like two days ago, three days ago. Already insulting the people. I'm a you're beginner. Already, you're, already insulting the, you're, you're a beginner, Canadian. We're basically hey, the same I'm thing loyal, being from Quebec. I'm down for the cause. I'm down. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. I can't see the chat, but I'll tell. What? <laughs> Oh, uh, it's, you know, the insanity <laughs> has just begun. And if I can, I'm going to rile up the chat a little bit here. <laughs> if you want to see the changes, give me a uh, fucking A in the comments. <laughs> I don't care about monetization and spell it right. H, <laughs> fucking A, do it. A S. Give me, give me five a, of them. The letter A or you want A? Five of them? You want five of them? I want five of them. Okay, we got one. Yeah, we, 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 that's one. what I was going to ask. Is it E H or is it just? Well, H C W. He, he Are did you the accepting that doesn't both? count. It doesn't that, count. So, but, so he needs he, H C W needs to redo it, but with the E H. It. Do the work. Do, it's it's written it's written on the fucking screen, but <laughs> it's in my name. <laughs> We're gonna get yelled at for this. I think. <laughs> I don't care. I don't work here. <laughs> He's like, I don't work here anymore. Yes, I, got, I got Castle Wordsmith. I don't care what you guys say to me. <laughs> He's like, I'm protected by, behind the walls. Behind the, the walls. Castle Wordsmith. All right. Well, we got four, I think. I don't know. We have three currently. Well, this is stupid. <laughs> no. Where did it go? Hold on, then. We get five? Do we get five? I'm not doing it. I'm not a mark. <laughs> what brings you to these parts uh, today there, old buddy, old pal? It's been a while. Well, I heard the revolution was televised and I just finished watching dynamite. Cause I have time to watch it during the day. There we go. That's fine. Got Spencer in here saying, Hey, yeah, Spenny, Spenny, you know, he's too nice of a Canadian to say what you want him to say. So I think that should just be good enough. Of we, you know, we got enough. We got enough. We did it. That translates. Hey, well, well, Hey, you handsome folks translates into fucking a can confirm. Can confirm. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that this week. Oh, are we ready? It's, it's shocking. It's shocking. Uh -oh. Morbidly disfigured. It's gonna Don't be, be upset. Normal. It's going to be as normal. <laughs> as normal. <laughs> Don't be upset. Hold on. Hold okay. on. Hold on. Let me get ready. Oh, yeah. He's got a little plug Put on each kids away. His thing. Put the kids away. Oh, my God. The hair is gone. <laughs> and there's a mustache. <laughs> what? That, Gentlemen, that how are you? Like, you cut the blonde <laughs> hair off? What? I, I, I have a confession to make. I have not been honest. The word what? Smith sits upon a throne of lies. This is my natural hair. And yes, the curtains do match the carpet or whatever the phrase <laughs> is. Again, I, you know, I'm going to get, who is that? Exactly. Who that are, is the goddamn my, mustachio. Are you my best Smith. friend? No way. Who are, who is that? Well, you're not even allowed in Canada from what I understand. It's true. Really? It's true. 
Well, I guess I'll take my I'm, I'm hacksaw, sorry. My hacksaw <laughs> I'm sorry. Canadian tracksuit back. Yeah, no, okay. Let me let me let me steal something from Conan. If you pay attention to this show every time I've been on, let me speak on put back up HW Moron <laughs> there for oh. a second. Uh oh. This is a fake wordsmith. No, no, my friend. No, no. Nobody, nobody smiths the words like I do. Okay. And this is my castle. You can see this is, is my kingdom. Do not yes. take shots at the king. Real castle wordsmith. Real wordsmith. <laughs> so now that that is over, uh, it's time to be the mention of the cinch. How's it going, gentlemen? Uh, we are good, man. How you been? It's been a little bit. It's been a little bit. Yeah, yeah it's 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 been interesting. I hear there there was there was a revolution. There was a whole yeah. Bunch We're going to talk about revolution. You, you said you watch you watch dynamite, so you're yep. you're caught just, up. I'm assuming just been caught up. And I do want to talk shit about uh about Miss Cargill if that is her. Oh, I know. Name. She called your Canadian people out. Yeah, she called hey, us Jay, out, dude. She called Jay, us out. You know what? Give give me the big screen. Give me the big screen. Oh, give God. Me the big screen. Don't get us kicked off the air, will you? I'm not. I'm not. I mean, I might. I don't know. Wait, no. that's, oh, that's, that's the wrong guy. He doesn't even trust me. I don't even know how to do it. How do I do it? Oh Where's Alex? <laughs> how do I do it? Yeah. Alex. The show is falling apart. Yeah. All Alex right. We'll just, we'll, just, we'll, just, we'll just imagine. That Edit it in post. Edit it in post. Jade, get the shit. <laughs> Billy? You know what? We, did, did we? I don't know. I don't think that happened. That's, that's what Spencer's saying. Okay. Have you figured it out yet? We're the same person. Oh, it's true. What? No way. So, a... do you do you have a guess of who you think? No. The Canadian will be that will that will challenge because because it's Winterpeg. Uh, by the way, Plugo, you would know that if you were a real Canadian. We call it Winterpeg because it you know it's cold and awful up in Winnipeg. All Sorry the time. for the Winnipeggers up there. That's inappropriate, I think. Um, See, but, I don't yeah. know. What, yeah, so I don't know. Is this Winnipeg back? Because I'm trying to find a good Winnipeg spot. is cold. Winnipeg yeah, is I cold. I don't want to be cold. I don't want to be cold. So is Winnipeg known as like, is that like it, the coldest area? It's winter. Well, no, there's the whole territories. Are we talking about wrestling or are we talking about you? I don't know. Have you ever, have you ever watched this show? We talk about Watch whatever, man. Are we live? Yeah. Oh, fuck. I got to go put back on my wig. <laughs> so you have no guess. A lot of people saying maybe Taya Valkyrie. I would be happy with that. I don't want her to not. So I don't want her to leave Impact at the moment, and that more on true. that in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you why because it's fun and it's good. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, don't want it to be Taya, but I do want it to be Taya. There's a couple of. I'm sure there's a couple of lovely ladies out there that are. More than talented, can't name any Luf of them at the moment. Lufisto was a, was another one. Lufisto that would be that'd be cool. Let me tell you something about Lufisto. I love Lufisto. Lufisto's entrance. Okay, Sh shout out to Lufisto here for a second. And this isn't even the gimmick, or this isn't anything like that. Because when somebody comes out to one of my favorite songs by one of my new obsessions in music, that being Ghost, I you are yeah. instantly over in my books. And Lufisto is is a legend so yes make spencer. this happen spencer says here's a fun one for you alice in danger i would be interested what about is jody you can correct me if i'm wrong because you know jody knowledge is not canadian. jody threat with that was we meant jody threat is that. canadian correct yeah love to yeah. see jody threat because uh the pleasure of seeing jody threat live at iws and i believe she's a uh love wrestling uh alumni oh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah that no, is true. I, that admit, is, I interviewed her. Yeah, that's time. true. That's how I knew that. I was yeah, in chair in her smashed. Her My chair. chair broke. Oh, uh -oh. Sh oh no! Shit! What? Oh, I no. hope you're ready for. Some we got we got cra we got people crashing. There's Who's crashing? Who who gave you this link? The rat, oh, we got Look what we got here! Hey, what are you doing here? You see, the rads are resourceful. When I got beef with somebody, I can find a way to talk to them. What? Wow. All right. Yeah, I see what yeah. you did there. I see what you did there. Seems unnecessary. We were talking about good things. I don't know what's good. going on here, and I don't care, quite frankly. You see, Pluggo, you've been talking so much shit online that I decided to come over here as the member of the Rads to speak with you. Now, Pluggo, I have a question for you. How do you know it was me? 
No, 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 no. I know it's you. I know it's you. It's very clear. Your intentions are very clear. No, JPG, you're in this. Don't worry. You're, we're we're okay. going to talk to all of you. We're going to talk to all of you. Because, you see, oh. Rad's business has been heating up lately. And you guys seem to have a problem with us now. Seven has an issue with us. Now I want to know, are you guys with us or against us? Because if you're against us, it's going to be a problem. What are you talking about? I've always you know, been exactly. a fan of yours, T.Y. You know, what are you talking about? I'm always on Team T.Y. <laughs> see, they told me you'd do this. They you told me that about? you would do this. I don't know what programming has gone out going on here. I know nobody cares because I'm the highlight now. Since the Raz is here, I am the highlight now. I have a question for both all three of you actually. Who do you think is going to win the match at LPW at the end of the month? Is it going to be the Raz or is it going to be Seven? I want to hear an honest answer. Let me, I, I just, I gotta... My honest answer, mm -hmm. even though it pains me to do it. I'm I'm like I'm leaning with you guys because you guys always chicanery and always do the things to end up, you know. So that's where I'm leaning. I don't want to admit that to you. HW Sports cares, TY. Smart man. Smart HW man. Sports does say they do care. Look at this. They, they say care. they care. <laughs> and then we actually have some people saying, you know, hello <laughs> to you in the chat. Some people. But, um, you see, you, listen, you see what I, I do. I feel here? like this. I feel like you guys have finally found a group in seven that you guys are a little scared of. Oh, but we have a we have a feel you saying admit, they're dangerous. They're dangerous. We also have all a feel you saying that all I you, did was point out a, a sponsor, try to do my job on screen, and all this hate comes my way. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, Puggy. You, you just say gimmick. That's all I'm saying. Puggy, did you just say that seven is a competition to us? Is that what you're saying? Did you, yeah, is that what you just said? I did I hear sure that clearly? Did. I sure did. <laughs> that deserves a, a knee slap. That deserves a knee slap, Puggle, because, you know, Seven just debuted. We've been yeah. running strong for the past year. We've been getting dubs across all of Western Canada for the past year. And TJ and Mars aren't even on the same page. You think they can beat us? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Ridiculous. See, JPJ knows. Even if he doesn't like it, he knows that the Rads are the future. But you see, you can't seem to get it through your thick skull that we. It, it is pretty thick. It hey, is pretty. He does there. want to be Canadian tonight, though. I am. I'm an Canadian. honorary Canadian. Yeah, that you missed that. Plugo said at the yeah. beginning of the show is honorary Canadian tonight. Well. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. You keep your ass <laughs> absolutely wherever right. you are. Where are you? Where are you from, Plugo? I'm from the United States. I'm from Indiana. Stay it's, there. Stay <laughs> there. Don't burden the rest of the world with are you, you guys, and your ideology. This, this, this new team came on the scene and they're turning heads and I think you guys are just worried because you as a collective can't count to seven without taking your shoes off before. That's me. not true. That's not wow. true. That's count a a strong, slapper, baby. You see, we can count to a strong 6.8. It takes it, It's harder to get to that seven. But you know what? Okay. Anyways, I'm not here to waste time. What I just did is I boosted up your attendance. I boosted up your ratings. I boosted up your views because that's what I do. But next time, I might not be as nice. Oh, you were being nice? Oh, I was being I'm nice. Sorry. Yeah, this is me being nice. I'm the nicest member of the Rads. They sent me because they know if they send Mitch or if they send Larry. It over? Yeah. Because Larry you will come in here and he will crotch chop until all of you pass out. You yelled at me. Well, man. regardless of, obviously, there are still issues. There are still issues that will continue here because you guys stole our gimmick. It is what it is. It is what it is. And I can be objective and I can say that I think you guys are still going to win a wrestling match at the end of the at the end of the month. But the bottom line is the reason why you're here, the reason why this thing is still going on is because you guys stole our Give shit. us our credit. Give us our so just stop, you. stop I, using our stuff. To be completely and this honest. Could all smooth over real quick. I have no idea what the beef is between you and the Rads, but I am the member of the That's delegation. Right. So I am sent here to solve problems. I don't know what gimmick they stole. I don't know what, but you know what? It's probably rightfully so because you guys probably suck at it. Anyways, you know me. I'm TY. I'm here to touch tips, shake hips, win championships. Plug O. I hate you. I never want to see you again. Goodbye. Wow. All right. Wow. Thank you. Oh. Thank you, Jackson. Wow. Thank you, Jackson. Have All a right. Good night. That's it. All right. I need Love Wrestling Management. I need to know who gave them the link to come into this stream. This wholesome show of ours where we are always polite and just ca ta cause cause a ruckus, frankly. No, I might I write like a how'd they get the link? Does yeah, someone want to explain to me link. how they get the link? Spencer, I created what the room. What type of ship are you running here? I created the room. 
I didn't share the link. Did you share the link? How does how does that happen? Why would I give the why would I give them the link? They don't like me. How does that happen? Someone needs to explain themselves. How the hell does that happen? For what it's worth, he seemed pretty cordial. He seemed pretty cordial. I was. He, said he hated that. me. What side? Well, that's you your know? problem. You're the one. You run your mouth. I, I, I am not someone who runs their mouth. You run. You have been. You've been egging him. You've been no, egging him, bro. the to my Jimmy? Get out of here. Pick a no, side. No, no, we're together. Bro. No, we're, look at. Did you not see me stand up to him at the end I, and say you guys stole our shit? I told him. <laughs> I told him what I felt. I got to get to the bottom. Of don't this. let like, don't, don't let I, outside interfere. Do not let Sami Zayn and the outsiders crumble this bloodline. All right. Do not. I will not. Pluggo's pissed. You can tell he's not even. He's like I'm, he's. I'm, I'm, he's I'm messaging getting, management. I'm, he's I'm messaging management. Right That's now. what he's. Doing. He's messaging management. Is there a spell check on there, Pluggo. Or? I know. I'm so <laughs> angry. I don't think <laughs> I'm going to be able to spell. Uh, this this every... Ty guy is a force, eh? Hey, Wordsmith, did I use a right? <laughs> Uh, he goes, if Fallout oh, taught us anything, you have to it. take your rads away to keep the <laughs> He said it was, he bets it was Spencer who uh look and then Ophelia here. says Plugo is tweeting at TY. Yep. That's right. I will hopefully ag- hopefully sure. aggressively. That man was I did like how he I admitted though. Rude. I did like how he admitted that they were, he was like, I'm the nicest member of the rad, so they sent me on purpose to kind of <laughs> they sent me because you know the nicest guy nice to kind of and then he comes on and he just goes, Plugo, I hate you. That's what, that's what he said. The nicest. I've interviewed Ty. Ty and I have. I know. I was gonna say you guys have. He's you my know. favorite member. Well, I've loved not. Ty. Not even now. I'm like. It's like a. It's like it's like one of my heroes. It's like my childhood heroes gone. I feel like Archer meet your hero. Nina. Yeah. Well, you know what they say. Yeah. Like Austin Theory, we can talk about that too because I was at Monday Night Raw this Dude, week. Dude, Ty. Um, you got me shook. And it was have a another fun. ad read. Can I? Can I, I just tell you? Can I just tell you? It was yeah, a good one. <laughs> uh, although the news coming out of Monday Night Raw is that Vince was in Gorilla. Vince was there. And much like our returning wordsmith, the rumor is Vince also was a mustached man on Monday night. <laughs> Do you want to know something? Here, hold on. <laughs> Rick, did, you grow, did you grow that because of that rumor? <laughs> did you hear the you rumor that Vince that had a mustache? Me. And wordsmith was like, you know what? You know what? I'm you know, a stash. Well, me, well, listen, shit, pal. pal. Listen, pal. <laughs> We're gonna stand up to my boy for my boy Vinny Mac. No, don't please. No, <laughs> fuck that guy. I'm really sorry, but uh, <laughs> can you, you know picture what Vince you know McMahon mustached? I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Could you can you honestly picture Vince McMahon mustached? I mean, it's basically Hulk Hogan. Wasn't was that real? <laughs> there was a rumor, like Hulk there Hogan. Was rumors that it was that it was fake. Then there was rumors that it was real. Well, there were fake pictures point, that were definitely floating around social media. Scoop City Fightful was trying to figure oh, it wait. out. Hold yeah. on. Hold on. Yeah. Vince is calling me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't think they think that. Oh, you're going to shave it. Oh, no. Only the sides. Oh, no. Oh, no. don't do that. Don't do that. No, don't do that. No, don't no. do that. That's what do you a mistake. Mean she's suing you again. <laughs> oh no okay we'll no, talk later no. Okay. oh no <sighs> but that that was the rumor on monday night as i was driving it's in for, it was wall street journal vince is there i said great yeah. listen great for those that want to complain to ty jackson for his actions his twitter handle is at t underscore y underscore jackson you let him if know. he comes back in here he's just going to be mad at you i want you, you to know, know that i mean at first he was just Directly going at Plugo, so I was minding my business, and then he was like, "No, JPJ, you're involved." I was like, "I didn't say shit." (laughs) Wordsmith was just sitting there quietly the whole time. Like, I'm I'm minding my business. Minding my business. This has nothing to do with me. This has nothing to do with me. That happens on this show so many. I feel bad. I still need an answer of how how. I'm still. How does he get the link? All of a sudden, Spencer's busy. Yep. No, he seems busy right now. Where's our lawyer? Who isn't here tonight because he's suspended from Twitch? Could our be a lawyer, we lawyer, we we are gonna. <laughs> oh yeah! Did you hear this story, Wordsmith? Lawrence, this, for lawyer. anybody in the chat, for anybody in the chat, Lawrence Cartier. Did Larry get suspended? He got, he got suspended Lawrence, I love you. from Twitch. <laughs> he got suspended from Twitch for thirty days. He was in a stream of mine. He was over on, on uh, JPJ. Follow me, JPJ loves gaming. Over on uh, Twitch. Great channel. 
It's a great it. channel. We do okay. fun Let me tell you. We do fun channel ever. Um, best channel. We were over there, and an actual bot popped into the chat and did one of those long messages. I'll give you money if you do this, blah, blah, blah. So then we were making fun of the bot. And then Lawrence said, I'm actually a bot. You guys have just, you guys just don't know that. And he copy and pasted the message that the bot sent and sent it. And Twitch suspended him for 30 days. Peace. <laughs> Not only that, he got into it with Jordan Oliver. Did he really? I didn't even know that part. He said he's going to see him, him and Jordan Oliver. Like Jordan Oliver stole the screenshot that Lawrence obviously stole. And then Lawrence is like, we'll take this up at the meet and greet at the IWS slash GCW show this Saturday. So our, we might need the, we might need a new lawyer. Might need a new lawyer. After this. Might not be alive. i by a light tube from what I... But hopefully, hopefully before... Sorry, gets, Lawrence. I hope that doesn't happen, but... Yeah, oh Lord. Before he gets, before he meets his match with Jordan Oliver, hopefully we can get to the bottom of who gave T.Y. Jackson the link to the show. Who there will, the there will be a statement here. released. There is going to be a statement released at some point. But we are 42 minutes into the show, and we literally have not even talked about wrestling let's, at all. Let's very, very little. I, very I little. Something wrestling related just happened. We spoke about my mustache brother, Vince McMahon. <laughs> yeah, brother. All right. Let's start. Oh, this right. is such let's, good let's, shit. I'm telling you. Oh, okay. Well, Spencer's saying. It well, wasn't there's him. A, there's a mole in That's the That's convenient. Lost Mustache, team. brother. <laughs> well, hopefully that'll be the only disturbance of the evening. Even though he, like I said, it could have been worse. He they did keep it kind of cordial. Nice one. He was very he did, mean. He, he did keep it kind of cordial besides telling Pluggo that he hates him and not to leave his home. I left the forbidden door open, guys. I'm sorry. It w- but it wasn't me. Good night, jabroni <laughs> mustaches who work themselves into a shoot when it works at work, brother. <laughs> Yeah, good night, Spencer. <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to that, but Hulk Hogan is always useless, stupid motherfucker. Sorry, <laughs> the Sheik. All right. right. Sheiky baby, Sheiky baby. <laughs> AE Dub Revolution, Sunday evening. Oh, that show was awful. Why are we talking about... That was not. What are you talking about? Oh, here we go. We don't, we don't, we don't reference Hulk Hogan on this side. It's Terry from Florida. <laughs> it's, it's Terry with that awful shop from Florida. <laughs> I don't even Terry don't even know Bill Terry Burr. Can. You know the comedian Bill Burr. He's a yeah. big wrestling fan, and he had no, a podcast. <laughs> yeah, he had a podcast for a while. And his definition of Hulk Hogan to me was uh, the best ever. He go, "Oh yeah, Hulk Hogan. Yeah." He would say, "Silky white Asian hair and the skin of a hot dog." <laughs> Hilarious. I, I, every time <laughs> I can't. I, uh, I, just never, I heard that 15 years ago. I've never, it's I've never, so I've never God. stopped laughing at it. Oh, oh the skin of a hot dog. Anyway. Oh. Whew. Monday right. morning podcast. How are you? I'm sorry. All right. Speaking Just of started. Winnipeg. How y'all doing? <laughs> Speaking of Winnipeg. Uh, I missed you, Pluggo. Not so much you, JPJ, because I have to be nice to Pluggo now. He's been abused. Yes. Sorry. He's been verbally assaulted on the show tonight. So we got to be we got to be real extra nice. There's a mul- the right, the anyway way. revolution. We were trying revolution. to get on that train. I didn't watch it. Right, no, we're gonna get there. A lot has happened. It was a, a much better happened. show than I think we anticipated. It was. It was a a you know out of Castle Wordsmith. We knew it was gonna be. You knew it was gonna be good. Oh yeah. Oh, look at. I had a feeling it was gonna be good. I just the the lead the lead in was kind of eh for me. Or besides was, a few yeah. things. It was the WWE for the last like. Six months where it's like the lead in might not have been great, but we know the pay per views are going to slap. Yeah. And it opened with a slap. And, you know, we had mentioned Winnipeg, one of Winnipeg's, I'm assuming, most He's famous Winnipeg, citizens. He is from Winnipeg, you idiot. Winnipeg. Chris Jericho opened the show against Ricky Starks. Uh, I did not I'm expect sorry, this I'm match. Sorry. That's absolute. Ricky absolute Starks. Ricky Starks. Absolute Stroke I didn't expect Daddy. this match to be the opener, uh, but it was. This was a damn good match. Jericho. I mean, come on, man. Jericho yeah. has been doing this for thirty-five years, and he's having just bangers like that. Yep. With dudes half his age, it's yep. incredible. Truly, um, I loved it. I, I thought this match ruled. Ricky Starks getting the clear victory is what needed to happen. Uh 
like I said, didn't expect it to be the opener, but once we were in it, I was like, this was a great opening match. <laughs> I was like, this is a great yeah. opening match. Uh, kind of won me over as the opener as it went. Um, Wordsmith, you're the guest here, man. What you I, think I, of the, I, yeah. I, I enjoyed it. Like I'll I'll be honest, I've I've become less and less of a Jericho fan over the years, given uh, his personal yeah motive. yeah some, some of the personal decisions yeah. Uh, but you know that that aside, character wise and uh, all all that, I love what he's doing now. I, I absolutely love it. Putting over the putting over younger talent. Look at me talking like I know what I'm talking about, but I don't. <laughs> uh, no, I I thought the match was fantastic. I think this was the only really lead up match besides maybe one or two others that was kind of something's going to happen and you should pay attention to this. Mm -hmm. And like you said, JPJ, I was a little shocked that it opened. Yeah, yeah. I I you do. Had Spencer saying Revolution didn't click for him until the trios match. That's fair. That's fair. Because the next match, oh, I want I want to hear Pluggo's take on the opener. Because the next match we're going to talk about. Uh... I really enjoyed the opener. I enjoyed the pace of the opener. I enjoyed Ricky coming out hot, which I thought was going to cost him, you know, because you know what that yeah. is. Jericho's a veteran, right? And yep. there's always that Jericho might win effect. In you know, win effect is that a? Is that I was a, gonna say, might win the effect. Winnipeg win effect. Yeah, yeah I was Winnipeg gonna say win, win effect. effect. Yeah, That's not a yeah, it's the Winnipeg. It's the, the winter uh, effect. Winnipeg, Winnipeg, Winnipeg winter. No, effect. but. Um, that's you know, is, you know I haven't done winter is coming in Canada. That's just my question. Tony Khan, yeah, you are truly. messing up big. I don't time. think they've ever had winter is coming like in Canada or the Northeast or anywhere that it's actually been cold. Right? I don't but think they so. did they did no. like bash at the beach or whatever it was in like Cleveland. Cleveland. <laughs> it was <laughs> Cleveland. <laughs> yeah. Because I mean obviously Cleveland, Ohio is known for their vast beaches. Oh yes. I, 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 I summer there constantly. I <laughs> summer there every year. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You walk right out of the doors of the hall of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame into the vast white sand beaches of uh, Cleveland, Ohio. I'm not touching that. Because <laughs> we uh, all knew they shot they shot all those vignettes with like them walking on beaches and stuff, and we're like, you know, it's cold as shit. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. But anyway, back to the back to the revolution. Yeah, I, know, I just thought the match played really well. I thought that yeah. they, like Starks coming out hot was the move, and then Jericho, and ultimately Ricky Starks finally winning. I think we all wanted that. Of course, yeah. he needed the win. I know that you got yelled at last week for saying he needed to move on, and clearly he's going to. I did get yelled at. He's I got put Warren in my place. I got put in my place real quick. Who yelled at you, Mister Warren Hayes. Yeah, it was respect. It, it, Warren, it was Warren. Warren. I'll sit out. Okay, I'll sit out. If he's here, he knows what that means. <laughs> he's going to come in and he's going to yell at me. But all right, well, <laughs> the next match, <laughs> what do we all think of the final burial match between oh, Jungle yeah, Boy, right, right, Jack yeah. Perry? Oh, speaking of matches that had no buildup and was just versus, like, hey, Christian's hey, back. No, he, well, well, wait a minute, though. They had a build. They paused the build. Then they ramped up the build. I actually the thought since Christian came back, that promo that he cut on Dynamite, yeah. When he started talking about his father and stuff. Oh my god, uh, just fantastic! I actually, this was crazy because going into the, the pay per view, even though this feud has been going on forever, obviously because of the Christian injury, I was excited again. Like even though he he came back randomly and it was like a couple weeks, and they were just like, "No, we're having this match now." This was one of the matches I was excited about. Um, I did not. Did I miss something? Because I did not know it was going to be a what, casket match. Yes, you did. Because it was I a combination also, casket match. Well, and it was it was thing. on yeah. Wednesday. On Wednesday night, the vignette it was. Oh, we got Big Bad oh, Boris Big Bad popping Boris. in just to say hello, and a friend of the my, show. We love heart. you, friend. We need to get you, you back on here us. soon. Um, us like but thank rads. you for popping in and saying hello. Hope you are doing well. Like Hope you are doing well. Rads do. And for everybody that just popped in. Uh, check we out are diving. Punk and Pile Drivers, by the way. Oh, yeah. Go check out Punk and Pile Drivers <laughs> on Love Wrestling. <laughs> it is a great show. Pluggo and I have both been on it. It is great. Um, Spencer, we do too. We love me. We love us some Boris. So uh, for everybody new that popped in the chat, we are talking about AE Revolution. Uh, yep. AEW Revolution, the week oh, that I was. Oh, what I say? AE? A&E, yeah. Yeah, A&E's. Uh, they uh, had a China documentary. Uh, we're, we're diving into the A&E documentaries of uh, AE. Entertainment. <laughs> so, yes, Wednesday they basically said it was a no holds barred match with Jungle Boy and Christian. I knew it was going to be that. I knew it was no holds barred. Friday night on Rampage, I actually stayed up because 
we had that snowstorm we had talked about on Thursday. So I wanted to make sure Mrs. Pluggo got home. So I stayed up and I watch it. So I usually watch on Sunday morning, Saturday mornings. But anyway, he, uh, he cut a promo and basically was the, the shovel again. And then basically said, it's going to be your final burial. And they changed the graphic to a final burial match. But jungle so, man, jungle man, he jungle is, man. Yeah. yeah. And he became jungle man. I'll tell you this, this match, uh, was okay to me. It was all right. Yeah. Uh, the concerto though, mm -hmm. that looked, that was gnarly. That was gnarly. I was like, oh, all right. I was like, that looked like it hurt. And then how did we feel about when he shut the door? The, <laughs> the awesome. Like, it just... Send him they, straight to hell. They said that not only did they need to Lock put them it. in the casket and close it, they needed to bury them. That's how they had to lock it too. They had didn't right. Can they lock the it? Jungle Boy. The second, look up the rules. <laughs> the second that thing shut, it just that was it. it was gone out of frame. Send in the clouds. <laughs> and it's smooth. Over. What's going on, man? What is going on? Saying hey, guys, how you doing? Said I he mean, likes yeah. Ramen, so man, don't I, bro? I love ramen. Ramen's delicious. I, I, I enjoy. A good you one. already know where I'm going with this because I. Yeah, you don't like it. Christian. You're not a Christian. You know, not you know me. Easy money cage. You can't be easy uh, money crazy. cage. Took all, that time, took all that time off. Yep, and came back <laughs> and put a, and put a, and put somebody over. Put somebody over, but in the in essence, he got buried alive. He's now gone off a of TV for a while. Oh, uh, Wordsmith, I, I yeah. have something to ask you too. You I want your uh, your what the Plugos Plugos uh. Plugo's citizenship has been revoked because he's taking he's shitting on all the Canadian. I ask you, how did you feel so far? How did you feel? I really, truly, he's like, hey, I'm a Canadian citizen. Watch me I shit all shit over on, anything I didn't Canadian. Shit on Jericho. Yeah, uh, well, no, that is true. You did. Jericho doesn't count as a Canadian anymore. He's living in Florida <laughs> and being awful. In the uh, chat, Ed, 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 how did you feel better. about the the turtleneck, the sleeveless turtleneck look on uh on one Christian? I fucking loved it. I loved it. I, 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 love, I, I love a good. I, I, I just feel, I, I would yeah. Feel I feel you said the Devo styling. look like Devo. It's beautiful, beautiful. Oh, because he he looks like that guy that would do that. Like exactly, old, old Christian would never do that, but new no. Christian is just like turtlenecks are his game. And that's what he does. Oh yes, ba Bailey did wear a very similar outfit on Monday. Uh, yeah, and I would agree that Bailey wore. But I mean, Bailey's the best. Maybe, they, maybe it's the same shirt. You never know. It could be. Could be maybe the same. She shirt. called up Christian and said, "Hey." She man, called up Christian and said, "Hey, man, where'd you get that done? I need it for Monday." You think they both complained about Michael Cole together? <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, Michael Cole's an yeah. idiot. Yeah, he is stupid, <laughs> or whatever Bailey says. That's what she says, right? She says, "Yeah, stupid." Bailey yeah. Is yes. Stupid. I watched WWE. I, I, came, a, I came across the TikTok. The other day, where they were doing the whole like, here, do you want these roses or should I double it and give it to the next person? And they were doing it at the WWE offices, and like it was Big E and Damian yeah. Priest. And then they get to Bailey, and she's like, and it was like two dozen roses at this point, maybe more. And like, she goes, Yeah, no, of course I'll take them. And then she throws them on the ground, stomps all over them. She's like, Double that, you idiot. <laughs> like, walked away. And I was I, like, I, I stand by. I stand by the little idiot thing only because I saw it on a YouTube short that was a TikTok. I don't understand how social media works. It's just, I think it's, I think it was Bailey handing her camera over to the damage control. And she's like, hold this for a second, puts on her glasses. I hate you, Michael Cole, you little idiot. And then it just cuts. Yeah. I'm like, this is over. <laughs> this is over AF, as the youth would say. Over AF. <laughs> Speaking of over AF. Mm -hmm. This trios championship match, the elite Kenny Omega and the young bucks going against the house of black Malachi black, Brody King and buddy Matthews. This was 18 minutes of gloriousness. In my opinion, I said last Thursday, I picked the elite to win, but I said last Thursday, what I wanted to happen was for the House of Black to win those titles. And that is exactly what happened. And the House of Black won those damn titles. I was not expecting it. I called it. I know you did. I was, was not expecting it, but I was very, very happy when it did happen. 
And we have a triple threat trios match next week on Dynamite that looks like it's going to be an true. absolute bang. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Speaking this, of bangers. And, and we had, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we got Big Ben. Big Ben's oh, a banger. I needed you. I needed you, Big Ben. Need, T.Y. Jackson just I'm yelled at me. Yeah, Ben, you just missed it. T.Y. Jackson was just in here 20 one minutes those, ago running Pluggo into the ground. He started talking jerk. some shit about me, too, but he was running Pluggo he, into he, the ground. It wasn't mean to me, though, Ben. It wasn't mean to me, it but wasn't. still, I stand by no, it. that match Ooh, slapped that man. Wordsmith. What did you think of that trio, man? I trios. was so emotionally torn. Yeah, you know, because I love literally every single person. But yeah, agreed. Like you want to talk about that, Don Callis, fantastic. Nakazawa, amazing. Given fucking Cutler. Cutler, yeah. Never mind that. <laughs> Julia Hart. Yeah. Yes. And we haven't even gotten to the guys in the match doing ninety percent, nine million percent of the work. Not ninety percent, nine million percent. I absolutely love everything about that match. Yeah. I'm surprised it was only 18 minutes because it could have gone longer. And I think I have a strange feeling that the next one, this triple threat one, by the way, that's nine people for any of you that have not clued in nine I, people. Uh, Rads, we're talking to you that three on three. No, three was was match seven nine. Or something, whatever <laughs> numbers, uh, but the house always wins, but I also, I will- really like kansas and i really like kenny omega and the bucks not so much Nick, though, son. but whatever <laughs> well i was gonna say because you brought up we, we brought up the time you both brought up the time i kind of enjoyed that about this pay-per-view it was a good little smaller card because they needed the hour plus for the main event but the matches it felt like they were you know they were just bangers so yeah like, it felt know, like the pacing was really like good. if this was the i feel like if really this good. was any other pay-per-view and they didn't have that hour this would have been 35 minutes yeah it would have been 30 minutes of just chaos yeah. but they compacted it into 18 which was nice i like that um, like if you can go 30 that's great but if you can do all of that in 20 let's yeah, go. do it i mean yeah. this match was like you guys said it was absolutely excellent excellent uh towards the ending sequence when the Bucks were going for the Melter driver, the knee that Buddy Matthews gave Nick Jackson. Uh, Absolute decimation. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Look at that oh, man. Next year, not uh, next week. It, it was fantastic. And I've said it before, and I'll say it again every time we talk about him. Brody King. That guy. That dude. I, I, love, I love all the members of House of Black. All can, the can members. I, can, I, can I cut you Brody off Brody King, to me is a guy that I see and I'm like, I've never seen anybody like this before in my life. Like, he is a monster, scary-looking dude, fast, athletic, can do things that a man of his size has no business doing. And then when you see him, like, on interviews and on YouTube in real life, he's, like, the coolest guy alive. Um, I'm just a... I, I had not seen a lot of Brody King until he came to AEW. So this is really my infancy staging of, of like my infancy stage of Brody King. And I am just impressed by that guy. Every time I see him, every time I see him, if, if, if I could uh, interject here, um, if, if you're looking to love Brody even more, it's Dan Housen has ruined him and Ethan page have yeah. ruined him for me. Go and yeah. watch their toy hunts. Yeah. He is referred to as Bordy. It is the greatest thing ever. And he is a teddy bear of a man. Yes, Would I exactly. say that to his face? Absolutely not, because he is taller. He's almost, I'd say he's as tall as me, but just look at him. I am a frail little person. That is Brody King. I yeah. will die. <laughs> yeah. House always wins. Yeah. Kings of the Black, whatever. Just yeah. love it. And then uh, Spencer saying Brody King also played Mike the Rock Davis on I Think You Should Leave, which makes him my favorite wrestler, period. <laughs> Big Ben says five-hour pay-per-view on a Sunday can suck it. Saturday I'm, pay-per-views for the win. I'm with you, Ben. I'm with you. Like, I get up early on Sunday mo- or Monday morning, so sometimes it's tough. Um, admittedly, I kind of watch some of the later matches the next day. I was, wow. I was, a, little, I was a tired little bl- Look, it's – Calls himself a wrestling fan. Wow. <laughs> I had to rewatch a couple of them the next Come day. If you know I live what on I mean. the East Coast, Come bro. Come so do I. Yeah, sure. We're in the same I stayed time up. So. And, and so I do stayed I. up. 
I oh, stayed you're up. So, I don't. Hey. I don't remember most Fucking of the Iron Man match, but I stayed man. up. Soft, the generation <laughs> soft, man. Can't even make it to the end of the pay per views. Too busy <laughs> playing video games back right, then. <laughs> back in my have... day, I miss the old days. We should be pulling guns and knives. We didn't care that the pay per views <laughs> went till nine thirty at eleven p.m. We, we the didn't good care. Old days. They went to the good old days. We were playing video games in the back. We had guns and playing playing cards. Anyway. Listen, oh, I, I'm uh, <laughs> I got those I got those uh responsibilities or whatever Tommy Pickles used to Bruh. say back in the day. You got those responsibilities. I got those kids yeah, baby, that we I got gotta to, get to bed and sometimes got Big Ben Ortman in the chat, right? Big, Big Ben is there. He says he's a oh get with the green. Oh, there we go. Get with the green right there, brother. Get yeah, with the see? green. I'm a grown ass man. I'm tired and got shit to do. And I work <laughs> with fucking children. There you go. It's, it's a good there, there you go. It's a real got, good pickle. I got kids. I got, I got kids. Look, I don't give a shit about your kids. By the end of the weekend, and it's not a, it's not, trust me. I've, I've been contemplating maybe going forward on AEW pay per views, taking the next day off because I do love them so much. But sometimes this is why like, we boo you. I fall asleep, man. <laughs> this is why <laughs> he's saying he's on the shelf because of that, man. I love you. I'm sorry, Ben. Yeah. Sorry. What the hell, bro? I'm sorry. Big Ben never tapped out. He never did. Never did. Maybe. We had a triple threat match. I'm not drinking it now, but I'm still going to drink it. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's it's open. I can't. I know. Sorry. We had a triple threat match for the AEW Women's Championship. And then we had something that happened after the match that we'll obviously discuss as well. Simply we because it's going to happen. You've came on the show and I've gotten yelled at, kicked out of the country, and now Big Ben is fired. No, he said Hago and JP and Jay can get me. That's what he said. Anyway. He's all right. Yeah, this triple threat was this was this was Fine, I think ben. Fine, better. Ben. I'm gonna boo the shit out of you the next time I see you. It's gonna happen. I'm really sorry, <laughs> but I love you, bud. I do. Maybe not the next time because you know that'll Probably be not. like the first time back after the you know. Yeah, you gotta give so him you cheer that he's back. But then I don't know. I don't know. So then no. you can you can quote you can you can ask about I don't know. I don't know. It's a good guy that Ben. It's a good guy. This he was a, a match, guy. by the way, for trying to get it back to the match. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't know what Tuggo, we're doing. You got to do something during oh, the entrances. You got to do the tradition. Ruby, 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 Ruby. I don't know the words, but it's fine. Ruby, 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 Ruby. So well. Yeah, no, it's destination. Ruby, no, no. Ruby, 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 Ruby. So well. That's what he said. In the comments, without Googling it, name three other Rancid songs. <laughs> Not off that album. Oh, you I don't cannot. know if I can do it. I will. Is that all I'm saying? Are you going to be like a, are you amused? Are you being amused? Is Time douche? Bomb on that record? Yes, it is. Okay. I wouldn't be able <laughs> to do it because of the record because thing, but I could probably name three like other Rancid songs, I think. Are you gatekeeping music now? Are we on a wrestling channel? Isn't this gatekeeping enough? <laughs> oh, wait, but Spencer said The Way I Feel, Time Bomb, Salvation, Maxwell Murda. Are they all on that record, though? Most of those are on the same album. I I could be wrong. I don't think Salvation's on there, but I could be wrong, I guess. Maybe. Well, All I know is we we were kind of down on the triple threat match for a little bit. Yeah. Like, yeah, because we're just it was kind of convoluted and like Soraya Soraya hasn't quite been. The Soraya, the Soraya that we had hoped when she came back, but I think they did really well. I, I, I had no problems with the match. Haters gonna hate, baby, and she got the W. And I mean, I thought it was a solid match. Indeed, can confirm. I love. I it. thought it was I, too. I enjoy I all three of these, uh, these lovely, talented ladies, especially. Yes. You know, it's a fun match. The haters gonna hate. But based Hater's on what we hate? know now, why wouldn't Soraya, Soraya and Ruby just team up and beat up Jamie Hayter? Because she hadn't made her choice yet. She hadn't. Wow. She hadn't made her choice. She hadn't made her choice yet. I think Except she, she did because she dyed her hair green before the match. But like, <laughs> yeah, I know. But Hater, Hater, Hater hit the lariat on Soho, and then they, she got a crucifix, a crucifix pin on her. And I think in that moment when Soho took another L, she came to the conclusion because the story coming out of this match was after the match Soraya and Tony storm kind of get in the ring and they attack. uh, They attack. And at first Ruby Soho kind of runs them off, throws them out, says, get out of here. That ain't happening. Blah, blah, blah. 
So her, Hater, and Britt Baker are all standing in the ring. And Jamie Hater raises Ruby Soho's arm like, hey, we're friends. And Ruby Soho hit the no future kick right in her friggin' face. There's no future for you. Yeah, right in her face. And then in Storm the and Soraya got in there. And then it was a numbers game. It was three on two. Right in the face. In the face. In the face. <laughs> it was new a numbers women, game. Women's order, baby. Yep. And they spray painted Hater and Baker with the green L. Can and we Ruby talk Soho, about, who we, we saw on Dynamite. What Pluggo just said. What? Yeah. The fact that it is. You don't know why we're here. <laughs> it truly neither is. Neither do we. Tony, give us a fucking storyline. Okay, cool. We'll go spray paint people because that's yeah, never. We're the NWO, people. brother. We're the outsiders. And we're the NWO. We're just spray painting people. Yep. Hey, you. Yep. Hey, yeah. And and Taz will be our Taz will be our you know spokesperson. He'll just come out and not even say what he won't even say anything. He'll just yeah. Ruby, 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 Ruby. Like, yeah. sorry, that's it. That's the only reason I watch Dynamite to hear Taz just butcher Ruby Soho. And we saw on Dynamite last night, Ruby Soho cut a promo and she went in on everybody. She cut a you people promo. She did Ruby cut a you people, you promo. people promo. It was a big but time she you people wrong promo. Wrong either. She wasn't. No, she wasn't. Not at all. No, she wasn't. Some you people promos. Those are the yep. best. But, uh, they are then clearly she beat the breaks off of sky blue, and then yeah, they uh, that match our... actually was more competitive just, than I thought it was going to be. They destroyed our girl Willow. Yeah, I didn't like that. The former teammates Willow and yeah. Ruby, so yeah. not cool. I for a split, for like a split second, thought Willow was going to join up with them. Right? I was so like, good. you had me. I was this you close. I was like, oh shit, she's going to join this group, and that's going to be wild. Speaking of wild. Texas death. Death. I'm done. Texas. Let me, let me see. I, I, I try to say that as much like Moxley because he doesn't say match. Like when that whole time leading up, he never said Texas. match. He would Texas. just look at Hangman. Yeah. Texas death. That's all he would say. So, uh, but Texas death. Holy shit. The we fork. Saw it hanging. The fork. Yeah, the yeah. fork. The fork is where I drew. <laughs> the fork is where I drew the line. I was like, "Well, I, I oh, like there was sitting a, there. There is a fork, <laughs> and you could you, when that fork thing happened, the crowd went from like that was like we all were the people live us at home. We were all like, "Oh no, Ooh, you just really dragging it across." Oh, made me uneasy. Yep. And then the it stabbing. made me uneasy. And then the stabbing started, oh. and I was like, <laughs> "Literally, just this is just not fun." Stabbing him with a fork. <laughs> I was like, "God." Yeah. You know what this uh, isn't? And this this is for you, plugger. It's been a while. You know what this? You know what that match wasn't? That was not good old family friendly <laughs> no. sports entertainment. And, and oh, that, that's goodness. one of those. That's one of those that I don't want. I don't let the kiddos watch. You know, no. like they watch I didn't even want to watch that. Teams, but I like. I have to pick my spots on what they can and can't watch. So it's kind of hangman. Funny. That was gnarly, dude. Like, hangman if, you're Renee, head... if you're Renee, right? Like you're sitting in the back, and of course, you know, like your husband is John F. and Moxley, and you're just like, Where's the line, bro? She has oh, there isn't one. She loves it. You're mangling this pretty face that I love so much. Hangman <laughs> went head first into that barbed wire wrap chair, and they showed his hair. Yeah. His hair was I almost just forgotten hair. about that. I had oh my god! That. I was just like, "This is, this is something." Man, for a minute, Holy for a Ray, minute, was Lord, Holy Ray was sitting there going, "Oh God, oh God, he's bleeding again." Oh man, I'm trying to remember everything that happened, but like there was bricks involved. There were that's bricks one, that's involved. That's one that you got to go back and got. I know it's gonna suck because it's so violent, but you got to. Moxley it. hit a curb stomp. On, you're probably on the bricks. <laughs> you're probably hit the curb stop on the bricks. Wait, let me get this in. Let me get this in. <laughs> Way to hit the bricks, eh? <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Go pop in the I believe go pop in the Ma chat for that one. Hangman that hit, the, hit the dead eye no, on Moxley only, on the barbed wire chair. Like that. Oh, my God. 
to cancel me for saying Re- it. Really, <laughs> cancel me Hangman, Hangman wrapping himself in the barbed wire and then doing the moon salt. That's the part that I thought was stupid. That was like the yeah, that was yeah, the that hurt like you more than it hurt. Who's you. that? First of all, let's 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 examine here. All right. Let's examine. I, I am the the intellectual savior of uh, love wrestling, or at least I used to be. Um, so let's let's try and bring something back. You're wrapping yourself up in barbed wire only to miss 90 for, 90% of the barbed wire hitting the other dude, and you're landing on that barbed wire. Mm-hmm. And you're also wrapping yourself up. Stupid. Wrap it, wrap your arm, hit him with a lariat. It's better. He's, it's I, called I, passion. I did not like that. Passionate. Brutal. Brutal. Brutality. Um, but at the end, at the end of this Texas death, death. Adam Hangman Page Magic. made John Moxley tap out. Yep, tap out. Yep, tap Quite out. Quite something. So he could go on vacation. But he wasn't on vacation. He, he, he wrestled on dynamite. He's not going on vacation. He's, he's, he's not on vacation. Still, now. he he hung him, and I was like, oh god. I'm glad that I'm glad that he tapped out and didn't. They didn't I, do the I respect like, the hustle. I respect yeah. the hustle. That was beautiful. Wrap it up as bad advice. <laughs> Oof. Moxley with the chain. He was hanging over the top rope and he tapped out. And Moxley doesn't tap out. No. Never. No. Ever. Yeah. That was nice. That was a really nice touch. Him tapping yeah. out because. Had he in that spot, I fully expected him to pass out and the rest of the call, that's it, what I that's which what I... keeps Mox strong and doesn't do much for Hangman. But Hangman getting him to tap out that's all we're talking about, right? It's like, oh yep. shit, like Hangman tapped out Mox, like that's a big deal that elevates Hangman to that next level to get him back into that title picture, you know, with a huge win. Oh, okay, yeah, Mox don't yeah. tap, Mox is a Turn on the old charger because that wasn't on. Oh, he said, I believe it's his first ever submissions loss in AEW. I believe it was as well. I believe it was a, as well. Hangman now with two victories over John Moxley. Which and is, one uh, giant black eye. Oh, did you see that? That was brutal. Yep. Like, like, I'm not, I'm starting to grow in my appreciation and fascination in the deathmatch realm. Of black eyes? I'm no, sorry. just like, I'm, 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 I'm you know how the show works. I just go on these little yes. tangents, but like, cause I was watching GCW this weekend. Right. And I was watching like, um, I don't want to butcher her name. On that? Rena, Rena. I don't want to butcher her last name, but it was Rena and Casey Kirk in a death match. And they went nuts. Right. And they got glass everywhere. They're bleeding. They're cut up. And then literally the next night they wrestled. So John Wayne Murdoch wrestled death ma- next night another death match with monsters slam image like and i'm sitting here just going like and then like again mox and hangman and then they're beating the shit out of each other like two days later like my god <laughs> like yeah. the recovery Guys, take a day off yes Casey literally Kirk like rules like that's what i was like take a day off like it's so it would have been okay had they not been on dynamite on wednesday and kind yeah. of let that breathe nope. but the fact that they're out there and they're just like Fuck it, let's go. What they like, do, man. It's what make it's that's, like the that's most, what they do. The utmost respect. My God. Yeah. That I I don't know how they do it. I mean, it looks like it's it might even still be continuing a little bit because on Dynamite, Hangman was involved with and but the BCC looks like they're going full heel, which a BCC heel just run kickers. Yeah, I'm just, good. I, I I'm I'm good with that. Let me see how that goes, but I, I think, think the hangman. Else. I think what that needs. To, I think that needs to end. I think. I think BCC. This, no, not not BCC. Because oh, you mean hangman? Hangman. How are you? Claudio being an asshole on TV, and I just love me some. <laughs> oh, do you? Pissed um, off Swiss people. It's the best. But I, I think the Moxley hangman thing. I think it needs to be put to bed for a couple months. I think. I, I would agree. I, I think what a what a feud that was though. Like that was one of the better stories and feuds that AEW has told in a, in a little bit. I thought they checked all the boxes. They hit a home run with everything they did with Hangman and Moxley. Ow, but there is there is one more match, and it's possible. Is there enough members? I don't know. Oh, are we gonna do Dark Order? We could do Dark Order versus. You could do BCC. Hangman, Silver, and Reynolds, or Hangman Uno, and maybe Silver or whatever. Although if you if you if you get Danielson back after a after a little bit Blood here, and guts. yeah, 
Yeah. You know, Blood and guts. Maybe. And that's maybe. The, that's the end. Maybe. But maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I just watch wrestling. I don't book it. But it's true. It's true. <laughs> we then had ourselves a TNT. These were the two matches that uh this match I liked. The 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 fatal four way tag match was was all right. Um but we well, had the a fatal TNT... four way tag match was all right, but the big story was FTR was match. afterwards, yeah. That, yeah. yeah. Um the TNT title match, Samoa Joe versus Ward Low. We had Ward Low oh, Danhausen. I love Dan House. That's why I bought the pay-per-view, folks. Ooh, Dark Order versus the Elite in the Blood and Guts match. Blood and that's guts. where Hangman eventually turns. Maybe. Maybe. I'll be okay with it. Might be hard to do that when Kenny Omega's in the WWE, though. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Nobody wants to hear that. Just saying. I'm just saying. Could be hard to do that. Could be hard to do that. Um. <laughs> Joke's on you, brother. Cody's winning the belt at Mania and bringing it back to double or nothing. Maybe. What do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> what do you guys want to talk about? Double strapped up. Shows it shows up. up. Oh, what do you what guys, want, you guys want to talk about? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Tony goes, what do you guys Tony, want to talk about? Remember when Tony Khan said he was working on something the wrestling's never seen? <laughs> What's up? It was all a ruse. Got him. And then we find out that like Triple H was in on it, and he's like, "Yeah, this will be this will be good for everybody." Like, yeah, everybody's gonna, yeah. we're all gonna I mean, eat with this one. It's, it's all an elaborate ploy for Billy Gunn to get back on WWE TV, <laughs> so they can have a proper DX reunion for the nineteenth time. Yeah, uh, Samoa Joe and Wardlow. 19. That's what I need. Samoa Samoa Joe and Wardlow brawled for a good amount uh, to start uh, outside the ring, and then when they finally got in the ring, it was what you expected it to be. I love Samoa Joe. Yep, I love Samoa Joe. I'm a big fan of Wardlow as well. Um, and Wardlow won, and he won with a submission. No power bomb, no power bomb uh, parade or whatever that was. Symphony, no that power bomb symphony. symphony. Symphony, yeah. For uh, for I have to Samoa Joe, doing that to Samoa Joe is probably tough. Samoa Joe's what are you, what are you, big. What are you, what are you, what are you insinuating there? I'm talking? saying that he's a bigger guy. He had to work smarter, so he went submission route. I'm saying yeah. that that's what wrestlers do. You play to the strengths and the weaknesses. Yeah. You throw yeah, you throw true. my boy Marco Stunt six rows into the crowd. You don't throw Samoa Joe six rows in the crowd because they're not the same you, you, size. You should you should throw him farther. You should throw him off the. Pl- I'm sorry, Marco. Don't care. Don't do uh, that. Moving on. <laughs> Wardlow at the end picks up the victory. He is the new TNT champion. Very short lived title reign uh, that easy. this one was. And he got uh, it stolen. Saw- because yeah. yeah, first of all, he got it stolen. First of all, got it so, stolen. I they were in San Francisco. Yeah. I had seen. I literally had seen a tweet like a week or two prior from just some random wrestler. It kind of fell into my timeline where he was warning like wrestlers, like "Yo, don't don't leave your gear in your car." There's been a lot of B and E's in cars in San Francisco. And I was like, going on San Francisco? No, I, yeah, I'll have, exactly. And then it happens to Wardlow, and I was like. Did that really happen, though? He really got robbed? Or was that the storyline? Really? I I think he actually did get robbed. So they just had a new title ready for for Hobbs on Thursday? Don't they usually have two? Is that that not usually? I did not see it, uh, Ophelia. What did it say? Oh, yeah, I did not see Samoa Joe's tweet. Ophelia saying, did you see Samoa Joe's tweet? I did not either. I, I did don't not have Twitter anymore. Um, I noticed I tried to tag you that you were on the show, and I was like, "Where's my best friend's Twitter?" Yes, well, uh, Emerald uh, Emerald Lord. Oh my god! Uh, About how to get glass out of baklava. Wait, no. What is that? Say? Match in that bala bala. Is that supposed to say baklava? I believe that does say. Balaclava? Is that how you spell it? Is that ba- balaclava. balaclava? Is it not, oh, that's what it's what it's the dessert I'm thinking about, right? I yes. think I think he really got jacked, but I think they're gonna uh, yeah. obviously turn it into a storyline. No, no storyline. The new belt was the one that replaced the all Atlantic title, not the TNT title. But the oh, way that, wow. the, but the way that they did Wednesday night with QT coming out, having the belt, all this, they can play it up like QT stole the belt. Oh, but yeah, he got jacked. That's the second yeah. time in AEW history that a, a, a yeah, because Jericho been, lost oh, the Jericho belt, lost right? Jericho lost, lost the a, world title. Jericho and his title uh, his title wins, locking himself out of his room on the night of the yeah, I remember that one. And then, oh, so oh, okay, so Ophelia's saying that Samoa Joe 
okay. tweeted yeah. that, and then she said, like a thief mask, and like him insinuating that he did it. Yeah, he's in there just yelling, Wendy! Oh, he said Wendy. Jericho literally Wendy. just misplaced it. It wasn't stolen. He misplaced it. Yeah. I'm going to send Daddy home to you, Wendy. Uh, Wendy. But yes, on Dynamite last night, we saw the return of QT Marshall uh, at, the, at that main event. Hey, oh. And uh, he distracted Wardlow, which allowed Powerhouse Hobbs, who I really like, Powerhouse Hobbs. Shout I wanted him to, to win Hobbs, that match. I didn't know man. it was going to do it that way, but I wanted him to win that match. Shout out uh, to Hobbs for wrestling. Yeah, and Hobbs Shibu. is the TNT I mean, champion. I want to yeah. see them go back and forth a little bit, but I think you and I have talked about um, Wardlow in the sense that like he was hot with the MJF stuff, and we see him doing bigger things. Maybe that was a way to like, okay, Look at maybe it. we can go to the MJF Wardlow story again. Well, I was gonna say that 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 is a, if MJF, which we'll talk about him in a minute here, because he got MJF. If he's a champion and he needs new fresh competitors, that Wardlow ins- insert down the line to kind of rekindle that, that's a easy, easy story for AEW to be like, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so I expect that to happen. Um, we so then had... That was the storyline that MJF was like, shall buy. Yeah, and that's what <laughs> overshadowed Wardlow, sadly, because at yeah. that moment, Wardlow was like, everyone was looking at Wardlow going, this guy's going to be the next world champion here. Like, this guy's over. And because of the, you know, the, the, the plane ticket and that whole thing that happened, Wardlow got his big victory, but nobody was fucking talking about Wardlow. And then MJF hit that promo that next week on Dynamite and took off for four months. And Wardlow really is, he's still popular. He's still good. Um, he's very good. Um, but I think I don't think I, I don't think he's ever fully recovered from that because MJF really overshadowed him with everything there. I missed the ponytail. Thanks, Samoa Joe. You jerk. You know, Jeez. unbelievable. We then had this fatal four way for the AEW Tag Team Championships. It was the Guns defending against the acclaimed Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lethal and the best friends who were res- who were represented by Orange Cassidy and Danhausen. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I thought this match was fine. It was a fatal four-way. It was what it was. The guns won. Uh, As we all what happened. What happened after the match was much more important. note. Was much much more of note than the actual match. I don't know. Did you guys like this match? You think it was all right? Well, how would you guys feel? I about did. It? I like you seeing. Uh, I like seeing Dan Housen on. Pay-per-view. I do like seeing Dan Housen on yeah. a pay per view. I did like that. Makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. That may have been the drinks, but it made me feel warm and fuzzy. Yeah. Um, not much to say. I hate the guns, um, but I'm supposed to hate them. Exactly. I think. Yeah. And uh, why don't they come out to ask, boys? It's missed opportunity. They they put, so they put signs all through. They put statements all throughout. That's, the, that's the why state. I wanted to bring that up because I Wait, saw what, that. What happened? Like, that's they put on. They taped on a bunch of chairs in the arena that said, "Please don't chant Ass Boys when we come out. Oh. We're not the Ass Boys. We're the Guns." Yep. They, it's part of the shtick. It's part of the shtick, you know. And the match was it. the match but was fine. I guess it, it, it. Their yeah. last name is Ass. Yeah. <laughs> I know. They changed it. Your dad, <laughs> Mr. Ass, it's on his trunks. Bill Ass, Rod and Todd Ass. Uh, Not this Austin and Colton gun stuff. Sorry. But after the match, Renee Paquette gets into the ring to interview the guns. Um, they de- they said that they demanded respect and claimed that they were the best tag team in the world. And won't you know it, the, the best real tag best team. tag team in the world, okay. FTR. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Asterix were the best tag team in the world because if we go off of yeah plugo let me let me let me speak on this i see the look they lost all of their titles in a month you are not the best tag team anymore lose no that's fair that's fair i can't call them losers i love fdr but i'm just like they did lose other titles they did look at they mentioned on that promo last night on dynamite that uh, cash said that he goes we we had a rough go of it there we lost all our belts in literally a month (laughs) that's literally a month um but they returned ftr power walked the ramp and they beat the crap out of the guns and (laughs) i think it's just a matter of time before ftr is the AEW world tag team champions and they will beat the guns to do it yeah even probably a matter of face the young bucks again and it'll be amazing I can't wait. Can't yeah. wait. I mean, 
They could face the Young Bucks, or they could have a friend who <laughs> could come back at some point, and we could have Don't a, a do, trios match. Do we, do we mean a man that is <laughs> I think his name is uh, Philip. He's, he's, he's still hurt. tired. He's, he's still, I think his name he's is Phil. He works with children. Yeah. Fuck, that's a good muffin. Okay, <laughs> okay we've been saying it for a while, and we're not, you know. The biggest match, the money match, the biggest match that AEW has in its arsenal is the Elite versus CM Punk and FTR. That's the disagree. biggest match they have. I disagree. You, what do you think? Just CM Punk and MJF probably? No. What? Sanjay Dutt versus fucking Danhausen. <laughs> that Golden Globe. Fight me. I don't care. <laughs> the the fact that Sanjay the There's a Golden Globe involved. Keep There's them. a Golden Globe. That pencil. Oh yeah, here. biggest match is the singles of Punk and Omega. I get, yeah, okay, I'd be all right with that. I just, yeah, the Elite don't have the trios belts anymore, so it's different. But if the Elite had the trios belts and then see, you know, that story. But you don't need you did that. That was my my. You didn't need the trios titles to do that match and make a billion dollars off of it. You don't. I mean, you, it would be nice, but you know, we could call it speaking. Thing. The thing that we can't talk about, match, because that legally we're not allowed to talk about, but everybody yeah. knows what's going on. Exactly. Legally, we're not allowed talking about it, match. You know what we are going to talk about, though? Mm-hmm. How damn good MJF is. That's what we're going to talk about. And the, I thought we were going to talk stars, about how though. damn good those pickles oh, were. No, of course. He didn't get five stars, though. He didn't get five stars. I, I, love, I loved that in the match when he was like, let me guess, Dave, I ain't going to get five stars not going to get five stars, stars now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had the Iron Man match. 60 minutes actually went a little bit over this one. Yeah, Yeah, this one went a little bit over 67 67 minutes. minutes. You got to say, but for the AEW uh, World Championship with MJF and Brian Danielson, this was a death. 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 Are we done? JB, no, we're not. No, 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 we're not. Sorry, Sorry, Dad. Uh, let me guess. This is the part where we're gonna. If we don't stop talking, we're gonna live in a van down by the river. No, no. This what's gonna. <laughs> no. <laughs> Whatever. I pop plug. Oh, I got him. It's fine. No. I'm good. You can have your show back, JPJ. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, there we go. This was Brian's longest match since the Greatest Royal Rumble. That is true. Sixty-seven minutes. Uh. MJF gets the victory with the final score of four to three in sudden sudden death over time. Can we talk about that score? Yeah. What was the final score? Four to three. Technically, it was four to two. MJF gave him that second point. Oh, yes. He definitely did. And I mentioned it last week. I thought it would be more involved with the shoulder. Um, but I thought that MJF was going to purposefully get disqualified trying to injure Danielson in like the long run of the match. Um, however, the way they did it, whereas he hit that low blow to DQ himself, and then he got two back to back just quick yep. pinfalls. So Danielson got the first fall. It was 1 0. MJF purposefully hits a low blow. To make it 2-0, Danielson, and then he gets back-to-back quick pinfalls, 2-2, and then the rest of the match was the way it was. I thought for a 60-minute match, um, this match kept my attention throughout. There were no lulls. There were no, you know, (sighs) I can't imagine what it's like wrestling 60 minutes. I cannot. (laughs) Uh, I can't imagine what it's like wrestling for five minutes. So... Uh, 60 is a long, long time. This is we've seen Danielson do it before in AEW. He went 60 minutes with Hangman. We've seen it. Uh, he went 60 minutes with uh, he went they 60 almost went with Omega, didn't it? Was it Omega, right? 30. Did he not go yeah, with Hangman? No, they went 30. He went 60 with Hangman. Okay, we got to run that back, right? That's got to be a 60. Am I right, though? yeah, I think, yeah, it was 30. Yeah, he went 30 with Omega, Omega and then he Omega. went 60 with Hangman. Yeah. Um, this match was really, really good. Really, really, really good. So he essentially has three regulation draws in Iron Man matches at AEW. Yeah. Yeah. Sure he does. Sudden death. He's sure a, does. He's a machine. You know, 
and it's part of MJF shtick, but it is one of those things where yeah, MJF is known for the promos. He's known for talking and talking shit and doing his thing, but he's one of the best wrestlers on the planet, on the planet, and he just beat probably the best wrestler on the planet. In an Iron Man match. Can I, can I talk about that thing that you just said about Brian Danielson? Uh, he I love how you he always... lost. He's not the best wrestler on the planet. Really? No, 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 no. I was love how you always ask if you can talk about something. <laughs> yeah. Just I'm let polite. it out. It's, it's, like it's, we can it's, stop it's, you? You know, Pluggo, here's the thing. When you move to Canada, depending on where you move, shots fired. You know who you are, what province <laughs> is. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to name names. One of them starts with an O. <laughs> uh, is it Ontario? No, it it's terrible. It's different. Um, <laughs> comments are going to be pissed at me. Whatever. Um, that phrasing that you just used of the best wrestler in the world, the yes. moment, and I think you know what I'm talking about, you're the best wrestler in the world, slap, you fucking suck. Yeah. Uh, this match is over. You've lost. <laughs> Yeah. He's beating the piss out of you and he's yeah. just insulted you while yeah. doing it. <laughs> yeah. This is the best. Can yeah. we can we talk about the incident with the child? What did we think of that? That kid's hammered right now, is what's happening. <laughs> Apparently it was tequila. I I'm did like, not I thought it was water. I thought so it was did I. water. I it was and then I heard that it was booze after, and that made that made me feel like confused. But my thing is, I, I'm not I'm not getting hit. I, it, he shouldn't have, I feel like you don't always have to yeah. yeah, that's too far. That's too far. Just Love say it. It, it was too Love far. It, it was a it was they, too far, but I wasn't all, but I wasn't butthurt about it like other lost people. $22. Well, I'm sure AEW took I'm sure AEW took care of still yeah. all I learned in that is that MJF is an asshole, which we already knew, and that yes. Washington is the same. What the Shout hell was the, Washington? What's the kid's name? I can't remember uh, his name, but he he got I think he but still I think like Again, you know, and this is the oh, reason oh, I the shout reason out during I, the post show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that kid's we're we're salt of the earth right there. Well, and that's why Imagine. I bring. That's why I brought that up in a sense of like, the match was great, it was phenomenal, and he made that decision. And of course, that overshadowed kind of the, the presser for a little bit. It's like, damn it, because Tony Khan's like, no, we talked about it. And I love how Tony Khan's like, no, we talked about it. We yeah. took it very serious. And MJF is just like. MJF's like, yeah, I don't fucking care. Uh, like, I don't care on. at all. This is a, a great fucking out of my head. Yeah. Let's talk great... about this really quick. I have a horn growing Speaking out. Speaking of, of did head. you see the video he put today that that dropped down and like his eye? Did you see that? The no, the picture he put out today? I will not no, be looking that up. Oh, like the hema. So the hematoma <laughs> dropped and it. basically this eye is just swollen shut. Like you can't stop see it. it. Yeah, I'm not bad. surprised, but stuff. It was bad. Um, I mean, what more? What more can you say? They went into sudden death, and then he made Brian Danielson tap out to the bell lock. I was speechless to win, one. and it was just like, my god, was- my god, man! Just what terrific storytelling! Yeah. Again, again, they do they do the damn thing. They know what they're doing. It's well done. Like I know the build was a little suspect in terms of excitement, but man, it was a great show, and that's the way, that's the way to end it. Yep. And then I agree. You got da- now I agree. you got Danielson questioning. You you love to see. Oh, that. I, I thought the vignette that I thought oh, both yeah. vignettes were really good, but I thought the vignette of Danielson right that here, they showed bro. on Dynamite when he was talking about his kids and he was clearly emotional. And then at the end, he just says, "I just I just got to go home. I just want to go home." Tells me that he yeah it was we're so getting, good. We're getting to the end, man. Danielson is a- Guys, he's going to WWE. That's where he's going. Maybe. Bring a Daniel no. Ryan back. Honestly, I, I, like I, I, I think I he's going to Ring of Honor. I have a feeling I, that that's going to happen. Is he quitting happen. like Eddie Kingston? He's just yeah. quitting. What the hell Ring was that? In, a, in an online exclusive, I quit AEW. <laughs> yeah, I'm just Eddie, going to Ring of Honor. Think, what did you think of that ladder match? I quit AEW. Yeah. Just How about that? How about I quit? Okay. Well, no, but, Daniel, but Danielson, like, I think we are. We obviously we're on like the tail end of his career, not the front half. So. And he does it. He has those kids, and you get that. I get that, man. Like it's tough sometimes. And then to he's this again. This has been his. He gets into these big matches. He gets so close, and he loses. And this one pushed him 
well past what he had what he said he couldn't feel his arms when he was done i you know obviously i believe this is all storyline yeah but yeah i think he goes away for a little while and i think you're right i think he'll pop up maybe do some roh stuff i don't know if we'll see, he might go back to the wwe at some point obviously maybe the hall of fame run they'll let him back yeah but i don't i could see him going away for a minute maybe we don't see him yeah. again until well, like full gear, maybe mm. in November at the earliest. Give him now, some time. Give him the summer off with his before, children. Yeah. Before yeah. we transition and talk some uh, talk some WWE before we get out of here. Um you're never getting out of here. Marathon stream, baby. Whatever. Whatever. Um <laughs> yeah. worse like I signed hours. up for it. I'm I'm in. Um uh, working twelve hours. I'm down. Let's go. I'll go into work. <laughs> who do you uh, think is who do you think would be a good pick for the next? challenger to mjf he mentioned a few he i think you're gonna say it he mentioned a, a person during the press conference that i would not mind but uh what do you think i mean there's there's two adams right adam page and i think i, I think I, adam page after the feud with moxley would yeah. be the guy that would go up there but also to catch to catch his first name is adam take a shitter no, oh. Keshta, bro, come on. Are you, are you referring to the second album being Adam, Adam Cole? Album, Adam, Adam Dan, Cole, Adam Dan uh, He did. I mean, he did reference him in the press conference. He said, know. "I think uh, Adam Cole was talking shit on Twitter, and his I girlfriend think he should probably shut, shut up, and he should through. probably tell his girlfriend to do the same thing." Yeah, and I was like, "Okay," I was like, "All right, here we go." So, uh, um, here's I my thing. Though. I don't want that. For Adam me. Cole shouldn't be. But it should be built towards. It should yeah, oh, yes. be like, oh, you want to tell me that's the match at All Out? And yeah, it is. Um, it's actually, it's happening next week. It's okay. Wednesday. It's, in, it's in Winnipeg. <laughs> well, well, I do. I do like. Minutes. I was trying to figure out because I was All like, they have to have. Winnipeg. They have to have Omega versus Jericho in Winnipeg. They have to. It's happening. I know, but it's part of the trip, the trios now. But yeah. that's what I thought when the whole segment was starting. At first, I was like, oh, this is going to be the Elite versus. Are you not getting the Battle of Winnipeg yet? You're not getting the pedal of Winnipeg. Well, how often yet. are they going to go to fucking Winnipeg? <laughs> All the time now that I'm a resident. Uh, go you know what I mean? Like they're in Winnipeg. You don't know when you're getting to the. You don't know when Winnipeg's coming back on the calendar. I don't know. You get the Battle of Winnipeg. Get a go. You get they're there. That's it. That's it. Okay. Anyway. John Cena came more. back. Sure he did. I didn't see it. What? I was there live. I was actually all right. Oh, he, came yeah, back he, did, he didn't see it because yeah. he can't see him. You can't yeah, see yeah, him. Yeah. No. Uh, and I'm not just saying this because I was there and Pluggo <laughs> actually agreed with me off air before we came on the show. Uh, this this week's Monday Night Raw ruled. That was a very was good very episode good of Monday Raw. Night Raw. Raw Pivotal. Was, yeah. Pivotal towards the, uh, the road I, to WrestleMania. They were all there. Everyone was there. Yes. Social media, superstar, and WWE but, but, superstar me, Logan tell, Paul. Tell, Oh, that guy. He was there. Him and Seth Rollins had a face to face. That crowd was that crowd loved Seth Rollins. Let me tell you. That crowd, including me. But that crowd loved Seth because Rollins. he was saying all of the things about Logan Paul that oh my god, yeah. Well, everybody and, on Twitter already says. Is that is that what happens? Yeah, no, that's basically what happened. <laughs> so and then you had the bloodline stuff with KO and Sammy. You did not watch Raw. I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't know what. Do you not watch the WWE is, is, anymore? What What is that? I don't know what that is. I watch. Okay. I watch. I watch the. Uh, I watch. I hope you have been paying attention at least to the Bloodline stuff. It's I have. I have. You legendary. know what? You know what? I quit. You can go watch the other <laughs> channel. That's a, that's a callback. That's what that is. Oh, man. But we had so KO over. Tell me Solo what Sol happened on the other channel. Yeah. Okay? We. It, KO and Solo Sokoa had a great match. Nice. Solo got his first loss on the main roster mm -hmm. uh, by DQ when Jimmy Uso got involved. And then we saw Sammy come out, and KO still wouldn't embrace Sammy. He was trust like, him nope. Yet. Doesn't trust nope. him yet. Um, Which is good. He should. It, no, it is. Yeah, they got a bill to it. Well, you still got like three or f three more rounds. Like, you, you can get there. You can get there. Uh, I wouldn't even be opposed if they're not friendly. Until like at Mania, or Sami Zayn's gonna night, fight yeah. him by himself or something, and then Owens yeah. comes out and second night, you know, like you know, something like that. Yeah, 
you have Sammy going at him a uh, one, like he's like, no, I'm fighting him by myself. Then, and then you hear <laughs> KO's music, and everyone's like, fuck yeah, I'm okay. Anyway, with that. I'm yeah, okay with that. yeah. Um. Oh my god, Logan Paul, Seth Rollins had a face to face. The crowd was really, really pro Seth Rollins to the point where Logan Paul leaned in and he was like, "Boston, you know this uh, this segment has a time limit. Shut up, will you?" And the <laughs> crowd was like, "In this city, yeah, oh yeah." And he's like, "F you, buddy." And then Seth kind of leaned in and said, "Did you, know you boo or did you sit there and just shake? Were you pissed? Were you about to jump uh, the guard? No, rail? no. At a wrestling show, I don't really boo when they go after. I usually laugh, to be honest with you. Like when they when they take the cheap heat and they're like, "I'm gonna make fun of Boston. I'm gonna say whatever." I'm like, nah, it usually makes me laugh. Uh, but he told Boston to shut up, and then Seth Rollins was like, listen, the reason why we boo you is because you're the scum of the earth. You're the <laughs> scum of the earth, and we don't want you in this house. We don't want you here. We don't want you here. Right. Um, Actually, we do because we want those ratings. But like, Yeah, and uh, l- listen, he, <laughs> he is scum of the earth as far as human beings go. He's, he's really good. He's really good. It stinks. It stinks that he's it, as good as he is, but he's it, really it good. Does, it does piss me off. I see <laughs> the highlights. Really good. Like... like even on Monday, like his facial, like when Seth's talking, just the smile he has on his face and just the. And when he knocked he, like, him out, he was oh, like, like just the little things, up, like he already just gets it. And it's you like, wake up, let me know about me. You are not supposed to be that good oh. when you haven't been doing this at all, but damn you. And then when you're like on top of it, and you know he's not like the greatest human being ever, you're like, nah, Even you know, worse. brutal. But regardless, the segment was awesome. The segment was awesome. The segment ended with Logan Paul knocking Seth Rollins out with a right hand, and then he was doing the, God, he shaking it up. He's like, ah, with this cocky smile. Did you see Bitch. Jake Paul? Jake wait a Paul second. Wait a second. Yeah. Wait a second. Any questions you have since you didn't watch? We will walk you did, through. Did any? But yeah. speaking of the punch, and you know throwing hands, it's the hand of God. Does that ring any bells? <laughs> Anybody uh, pay attention to the Mister Rock Hard Juice Robinson on Wednesday? Oh, on Dynamite. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, old, old, old Bullet Club thing going on. Yeah, I saw that. W. Yeah, I thought it was going to be Jay White at first. I was like, Jay White? Is that, is Jay White? I was like, there's no I way. I stood up out of my couch. I was like, is this Jay White? Is this Jay White? Yeah. No, that wasn't. It was Juice. I, 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 I have a feeling just because he got kicked out of New Japan. You think Jay yeah, White's going gonna... to? But he's not in the club. He's not in Bull Club anymore. Is Juice, though? Juice the is still rock- gone? I think he still is. Yeah, Juice is still Juice is still. Look rocking. at Jay White. He's going to the Fed. I don't think so. Here's what's going to happen. I have a happen. strange feeling. I have a strange feeling. He's probably going to go to AEW, but here's what's going to happen. John Chena, John Cena, <laughs> is going to beat Austin Theory for the United States Championship oh, at God. WrestleMania. Okay? This is what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. And then on Monday night, after WrestleMania, John Cena is going to come out, and he's going to have himself a United States Open challenge. And that challenge, that challenge is going to be answered by the Switchblade. What? So that, so that, and he's and here. Let me be a, let me, let me be a, championship. Let me be a pissy fanboy here, so that Kenny can have one U.S. title and Jay can have the other one that is not really as prestigious. It's just kind of there. Maybe. Nah. Nah. Maybe. But then Kenny's going to come to the Fed later. Get out. And then when Kenny, so no, Kenny, when Kenny's no, at the Fed, no, him and Jay no. White can rekindle their feud. And then the Bucks the will show up. Yeah. 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 And then MJF's going to be there in 2024. And then MJF shows that's up the in 2024. Only, that is the only thing. And I don't even know if that's going to happen. Because imagine right. Tony Khan's so just like, if okay. you're If you're Hunter or you're WWE. You offer him as much money. As, as much as it takes, right? Yeah. You go, listen. If you end up staying there, you What's end up staying there. What's that number, that's fine, though, realistically? But, What's that number? I, I, He's 26 <laughs> years old, Plugo. He will no, be 27 I'm, I'm next with year. You. I'm with you. That I number agree. is everything. But you, <laughs> I would just call him and I go, listen to me. You tell me what AEW's biggest offer is to you, 
and mine will be a hundred thousand dollars more than that. And that's what I would say. That's what I'm saying. No, no matter what it is, it would need to be more. I think because the the, re the reason I say that is because a guy, when you go to the E, you give up everything. It's all he wouldn't even so, be allowed to be MJF. So no, yeah, he wouldn't be able. To, he would. He'd have to redo everything, and he wouldn't be able to have the freedoms that he has now. Oh, so, he definitely would not be able to talk or cut I promos the way that he cuts right, now. Well, I think you would need. Wouldn't just be able from to like call a... Triple H a Mark on television? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I don't think you'd be able to throw a uh, fucking tequila or a gin at people in the, in the audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which I'm sure. Pretty, pretty sure. sure. So pretty when sure. you say $100,000 more, I think it needs no. to be like a couple mil more. Yeah. If you're yeah, off, I, mean, I, I would, me three, I would I make it clear five. to him. I would be like, whatever they offer you, we're offering you more. Yep. Whatever it is. So yeah. if you want to come here, you will get the most money coming here, but like and then you we'll know. get MJF versus the Miz. No, we'll get MJF versus Cody. No, we'll get the Miz first. The, the, Miz, is the, the Miz is the, is the gatekeeper. You gotta face the Miz. Then you get to Cody. Well, the Miz will be his first feud, but you know he yeah. can just easily That's what beat I'm saying. Someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah or yeah. Dolph Ziggler, because Dolph Ziggler lost to right. in front of me. I love Dolph Ziggler. Let me tell you. He lost to Omas in fucking four seconds. <laughs> on Raw. Poor and I was sitting here going, Are you fucking kidding me? But he sold that, all the way to the he sold it all the way back to the D yeah, damn right he did. He made he, it he, he made that four did. seconds look like a million bucks. He did, at this he's point, good at what he does. His, his brother Brian Nemeth is having better showings on What the Dark. hell was that? What Brian the Nemeth, hell was that? Brian oh. Nemeth is a comedic genius, by the way. Yeah. I could not believe I was like, it, uh look it up. Omos came out. And I was like, oh, who this, who's this guy going to fucking beat? And then I heard Dolph's music, and I looked right at the person. I was with my friend Doug, and I went, you got to be fucking kidding me. This is, what Dolph, this is what Dolph Ziggler has been relegated to? This? Yep. Get wrecked, Dolph. Poor that Dolph. That pissed me off. That pissed me off. You could have thrown anybody out there. You Literally. Could have, you you could have thrown have anybody out there. Was Dolph it Ziggler. Sorry. Broken ankle, but, but you gotta make what? Yeah, AJ's, been, right AJ, AJ's been out for months. He's yeah. been out since like January, yeah. the Rumble, I think. January, yeah, I want before wrestling. the Rumble. That's why we haven't seen the Good Brothers because no offense to them. They were on main event. The Good Brothers were yeah, there on main they're event. Kind of useless without AJ in the sense of like. You know who else was on main event? The tag he actually, team, the, the tag team division is wrapped up with the Usos right yeah. now. So he uh he actually was the first match of the evening that we saw. Uh, Boston's own Carmelo Hayes was uh was there. No, nice. Got a real good ovation because nice. he's from he's local. He's local. Yay, places. Yeah, but um. <laughs> We've talked. We talked a lot about the map today. Geography, yep. geography. Yep. Yeah, they were everywhere. Edge showed up. Edge came out of nowhere, and he cost Finn Balor a match. Johnny Gargano got a pinfall victory over Finn Balor on Monday, which I thought was nice. Base stuff across my hallway, and it is nuts right now. <laughs> Freaking out, man. Speaking of Johnny Gargano, on NXT Roadblock on Tuesday, he showed up. He's gonna face the Grayson Grace Waller Whoa. effect. Had Shawn Michaels on there, and Grayson Waller asked Shawn Michaels to a match. And Shawn Michaels ducked Grayson Waller. He Shawn did. Michaels he, fears he ducked Grayson him. Waller. He ducked him. Shawn Michaels cut a good promo though, and he said, for "Because I watched years, his last match. That's 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 why he's yeah. not doing that." But Shawn Michaels said, "For ten years, they've been backing the Brinks truck up to my front door, asking me to fight at WrestleMania." He goes, "For ten years, wrestlers have been asking me for their dream matches at WrestleMania." And he was like, wrestlers way better than you, Grayson Waller. <laughs> so I am not coming out of retirement Just for your fucking that. ass. No way. And then he goes, but you know who will come back to NXT to fight you at Stand and Deliver? Mr. NXT. Mr. NXT, Johnny Gargano. And then that, so Johnny awful, Gargano. that awful music hit. And we're like, oh, yeah, no. the new music is not great. Uh, but the crowd popped. The crowd got loud. The crowd got loud. Got loud. Gargano will be on NXT TakeOver. I stand and deliver. I didn't think Roblox was bad. This I thought Roblox was good. That main event, thing? that main event with Roxanne Perez and Mako Satamora was real fun. What fucking happened hard. there? Okay. Roxanne what Bita. happened there? So I watched it. I was actually kind of I was kind of pissed because they didn't start the match till like 
10 o'clock. Yeah, it was, it was literally was like, like five minutes I was like, so, And I was then like, they so went directly to a picture in picture. The second I, it started. Yeah, second it started, picture in picture, it's 10 o'clock. The match, I thought, okay, they're going to just do something smazzy. Core Jade will come out some. No, it was shit. a full match. Yeah. The full match, they actually went like to like 10 17. Yeah. And. Right, they did the Shawn Michaels finish. Yeah, so Roxanne Perez. But I didn't they, know that. I forgot about that. She yeah, they, beats her on a roll up, gets one over, and passes out. Yeah, is that what happened? Because I heard yeah. I, she I saw that, and I was just like, Shawn Michaels Whoa. just doing his greatest hits of his career, like he's just booking them. <laughs> he had core. He had uh, what's her name, J.C. Jane, do the barbershop and yep. to toxic, uh, toxic attraction. Yep. He's doing the pass out thing last night. I ain't coming back. Sooner or later, someone's going to break their back on a coffin. It's just all going to happen. It's just going to go away for four years. Uh, so you know, it, who's going to lose just, just hitting them. Who's so, but it was a really good match. And obviously yeah. the vignettes leading up to it was Mako was putting Roxanne through these grueling workouts, like being like, you need to be at a certain level to beat me. Like, and I'm, but I'm, you know, the respect and stuff like that. So the story is going to be like Roxanne went to her limit, had to push her limits to beat Mako and she fucking passed out unconscious. They took her off in a stretcher. Mm -hmm. Booker T got off commentary and he was looking, he was like, he was in the ring. They were really playing it off that she was uh, really messed like, up. I legit, cause I didn't put the two and two together at first with the Shawn Michaels finish. I know some people did on Twitter pretty quick, which good for them, but we had just saw what happened with hangman and Mox with that kind of stuff. And you're, I'm just sitting there in the moment kind of going, oh, shit. Like, I hope she's legit okay. This is a very fine line to kind of play if she's just going to show up oh, next week. Yeah, it was like, played very well. The, the refs were getting in the, the, the main good. ref is saying, we need somebody down here. And yeah, they, they sent could. other refs. And you could hear the main ref going, what are they sending you guys down here for? We need medical. Get out of the way. They're Get like, out of the way. We need medical. Like, crazy. so it was, it was very nice. It was very well orchestrated that it 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 felt real life to an extent even though it is wrestling um yeah. but i thought it was really really well done but one thing i do want to talk about before we get out here the end of raw oh, the yes. bloodline it was Sami Zayn versus J uh, versus jimmy uso that was the main event match of raw they got me yeah yeah, they got me. You, they, everyone in that building was fucking. We were living and breathing like, by everything that was happening there. I was like, Jason, everyone was, was standing up, like, oh shit, what's going on here? Um, good match, good match. Um, we're getting towards the end, and Jay Uso comes out from from the crowd, walks down to the ring. He gets in the ring. He has a standoff. This is after, so Sami Zayn got the victory. Sami Zayn got the victory. Because um, Jey Uso appeared, and that distracted Jimmy. Sami hit a halluva kick over. Sami Zayn gets the victory. After the match, Jay gets in the ring. He's standing face-to-face -face with Jimmy, and he keeps on grabbing his shirt, and he's crying. Jay's crying, and he's grabbing his shirt like it looks like he's going to rip the bloodline shirt kind of thing. He's holding um, back. He's holding back. All but he's holding numbers. back. But he doesn't, and he just gets out of the ring, and he goes to the outside where Sami Zayn is, and he looks at Sami Zayn, and he's still emotional, and he kind of grabs Sami's chest like that too, and he brings Sami in, and they hug. And when they hug, the the roof blew off the arena. Oh, my God. Everyone's was... pumped. Everyone's like, oh, shit. The they throw up. The bloodline. Let's it's go. Like, oh, and my then... God. I cannot believe it. Uh, Sami Zayn is yelling into the ring to Jimmy. You can join. It's not too late. It's not too late. You can join us. You and can Jimmy, join us. Jimmy is like Jimmy's facial expressions. Amazing. It, yeah, Jimmy's facial expressions. He's confused. He doesn't know shit. Oh. What do I do? Jay Uso. It's like his looks at his broken. brother. He's Yo, my God. He well. looks at his. Yeah, Jimmy's heartbroken that Jay has chosen Sammy. He looks at. They look at each other. Jay throws up the one, Sammy throws up the one, and Jay Uso super kicked the shit out of Sammy. Oh. And then oh. breaks off of him, and then oh my god! And then he threw him into the ring, and it was a three on one beatdown. And not Kevin Owens, but Cody Rhodes music hits 
and he runs to the ring and he runs the bloodline off and raw ends with suit. Cody in the suit, full, full suit. Superman and raw so ends gross, with Cody in the ring with Sammy on the ground. Cody trying to make sure Sammy is okay. Man. That was a good one. That was a good one. Nice. And of course, you so, know, John Cena buried Austin. Theory. Oh, John Cena absolutely destroyed Austin Theory. Him. Real bad. Like they're gonna have to do some work because either way, Theory's Oof. cooked. Oof. Win or lose it, man. I believe one of the lines John Cena used was, "I'd rather have this whole arena booing me than pipe than piping in fake crowd noise because nobody gives a crap about me." No, bald spot. No, no, because Austin Theory said he had a bald spot. He made fun of Cena's bald spot. And he goes, you know what? I'd rather have a bald spot than, than have them pump in noise. fake crowd noise because nobody gives a crap about my matches. You know, Hunter probably was like, bro. Whoops. <laughs> bro. Whoops. Oh, boy. Hunter's, Hunter, uh, Hunter's back there just going, John, we love you. You're an all man. Diver, but you just. He was telling him because Austin Theory. Before John Cena can even say a word, Austin Theory came out. So Cena did the big entrance. Everyone's going nuts. Theory comes out immediately. That show was awesome. It was very good. Theory comes out immediately. Theory challenges John Cena to a match at WrestleMania. John Cena says no. And then Theory goes, oh, what? You know, you're wearing a shirt. You know, never give up. But you're not. You're ducking me. You don't want to fight me at WrestleMania. Are you giving up? You don't want to fight me? And John Cena just goes, no, dude. I'm saying no because... I'm doing that for you. You're like, you're not ready. He's like, win or lose, you lose everything. He's like, win or lose, you lose everything, bro. Like, I'm John Cena. You're not ready for this moment. You're not ready here. Wow. And he I was just like, yeah, he was just like, I'm like, do you know what you're asking for? Like, you're a dumb son of a bitch. He called him at one point. He goes, you're a stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> like, do you know what you're asking for here? I'm you are not ready for this, bro. buddy. You are not ready for this. Uh, it was really good. It was really, really Instead good. Instead of saying things like, you know what, you're talented. <laughs> he, I mean, he did a little bit. He's he like, said, I'll gonna... give you credit. Like, you're young. You you got the future. You should be, blah, blah, blah. Get but off like, my lawn. You ain't there. But he was basically like, everyone knows that this is bullshit. Like, you're you're not He did person. the same shit to Roman back in the day. Oh, too. yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Like, if he doesn't oh, yeah. think you're ready, he's like, I'm going to let you know. John Cena. Man, Grandpa and then so at, at at the very end, Cena accepts, and he goes, "All right," and but he did say he goes, "If you beat, if he goes, if we fight at WrestleMania, and I beat you, you lose everything." And he goes, "And if we fight at WrestleMania and you beat me, you lose everything." He goes, "Yeah, you might. If you beat me, you might have you might win the day, but then the Raw after Mania, you got to come out here all by yourself without me to lean on." And that crowd's gonna eat you alive. Probably, yeah. And it was just like, man, That's Cena's sick. been go Cena can go away and come back, and he's just like, dude, you're a master. You're a master of the promo. You are an absolute master class. It was just fantastic. And then Cena introduced so he accepts. Austin Theory's still in the ring. Cena accepts and he leaves. And then he introduces Cody Rhodes. And him and Cody just hug on the on the entryway, <laughs> and that was wild it. Wild night, man. So it was like John Cena, like that was like the passing of the torch, kind of from John Cena to Cody, kind of thing. Very weird. I mean, it, it was a good moment, but it was just like yeah. what? It was just random after everything happened. But other than that, yeah, the raw raw was good. Raw was good. Nice. Anyway, anything else so going on you in your in your world, Wordsmith? Before little... we get out of here. What do you want to talk about? Oh, nothing. Nothing really. Just uh, next month in, a I believe, April 16th, there might be, I believe it's uh, Rebellion. There's going to be a little bit of a rebellion in Toronto, Ontario. Mm. And then you guys got Under Siege coming in May as well. Oh, I'm not going to that unless it's unless it's a good card. But uh, <laughs> yeah, Canada's getting all the good shows, man. That's why I became Canadian this week. Yeah, uh, we're going to be raiding yeah. our friends CFG yeah. uh, after the it, show, which we'll be getting out of here after we plug all our things. So stay tuned. They're a good group over there. So uh, we're good friends of ours. So Wordsmith, 
lovely having you back, my friend. You you had messaged me, and I was like, hell yeah. Um, I know you said you don't have the Twitter anymore, but let the people know where they might be able to find you, if anywhere. Yeah. Or what to, what to me, expect from the wordsmith well, coming up uh, soon. You can uh... – not much coming soon, folks. Not much. <laughs> Besides more mustachioed perfection. Um, yeah. You can follow me on the Instagram. Hold on a moment. Pause for dramatic effect. At poetry. Nope, that's not my handle. One moment. Somebody else go so I can figure out how this thing works. Well, he figures that out. I need <laughs> to figure out where the hell T.Y. Jackson Yeah. Got the Still need answers here. Still need show. answers. God, messed I thought, up. Bro. I thought for anybody that's here that wasn't here earlier, T.Y. Yeah. Jackson of the Rads decided to join up. us. I'm sure that will be clipped in on social media platforms soon. Maybe I'm still mad. Um, about it. And he just came on and he just eviscerated Plugo for the most part. He got into he got into a little bit with me. I let him know how it was. I said, hey. Listen. I can be objective in picking who's going to win matches because I do think the Rads will be victorious at LPW at the end of the Because they're radical. They always find a way. The they the always Rads. find a way. I can be objective and still pick that they're going to win that match, but at the end of the day, they stole our shit. They stole our gimmick. I mean, That's why we're in this. said it himself. They can't even count to seven. They get to 6.8 and stop. That's what shoes off. That's on them. It's not my fault they can't count. No. Wordsmith, how did you find where people can find you? Uh, on Instagram, uh, at Poetry of a Promo. Nice. That is your that's handle. all. That's all I have, because yeah. you know, Emerald social media Barons, is a scary place, man. It's not my place. place, man. Yeah, it's a scary place. Pluggo, do the damn thing. Let the people know where they all can right, find you. Let right, the people know where right. they can find us here at Between Two Beards. You can find me at Pluggo underscore on Twitter, at Pluggo on everything else. You can find at B2 Beards on all social medias. We're doing all the damn things. We're clipping things, posting things. You know, we're everywhere. You find us there. Give us a like. Give us a follow. Please go tweet at the Rads and let them know that we're not happy with their actions tonight. We're going to get to the bottom of this. We're going to find out what happened here but yeah and that's what you can do and you never know we got a lot of things coming up so stay at love wrestling follow at love wrestling ca for all sorts of crazy news you know we got a lot of stuff coming up big stuff big stuff big stuff little stuff big, big stuff, stuff. Little, stuff. little stuff all stuff double stuff most stuff oreo stuffed all the time yep. anyway. fudgios don't know what those oh, are fudgios. do you oh sound good I don't know what those are. But JPJ, take us home. Yeah, you can follow we me at JPJ. Yeah, you can follow me at JPJ Loves Gaming over on the Twitter, over on Twitch. Give me some love. Uh, but like Plago said, love wrestling CA. Stay tuned. We got some good stuff coming up. We got stuff this stuff. week. Brunch gimmick on Sunday. Brunch. Come on now. It's Every week you can catch us Thursday nights, 8 p.m. right here on this channel. Uh, this is episode 93. We're almost approaching that 100 mark. That 100 yeah, mark, yeah, which is a big one. For 100 uh, but yeah, you can follow me, JPJ Loves Gaming. Appreciate everyone in the chat this evening. Go tell the rats to piss off from me. Yeah. yeah. How about that? Keep How about you go baby. tell the rats to piss no, no, off? No, 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 no. I want no part of this. Wordsmith Gang is, warfare, war, bro. You're war, in, you're in Wordsmith this now. is Switzerland. Neutral. Neutral in this. I'm, I'm Canadian. I know, but you're 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 you're. It's you're the neutral. saying. Gosh, you're, you're a wordsmith and you don't know phrases. Unbelievable. We gotta go. Name, name two Canadian provinces, Plugo. I rest my case. Wait, provinces? Uh, oh, Ottawa God. and Ontario. Like, Edmonton. No, first of all, those aren't. No. Wait, what did you just say? Edmonton. He said Ottawa. Ottawa, Edmonton, Ontario? those are counties. No, those no. Are cities. Those are, did, were you going to say cities. those are counties? Ma uh, Manitoba? Show, Manitoba? Sorry, oh no, right? God. It's pro a province is like Quebec, right? Quebec. Quebec Manitoba. is a province. Right? What's the, what's Am I right? Quebec? Are, 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 are we, That's one are of them? Done? I, th I think. Is I that think one I'm, of them? Montreal can. Yeah, yeah. Are well, there Montreal. no Canadians yeah. in the chat that can give me a real answer? Quebec is one of them. We're too busy being sad. Is what's Quebec happening. is one. Of Let's go raid our Quebec, friends. See. Quebec is one. Provinces of them. are essentially Canadian states. Yeah. That's belittling to our country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Quebec, Quebec, Manitoba, 
Quebec is uh, never mind. That's a by the way, question. before we actually do, Ontario this, is one we, of them. Though, right? Can we no, shout Ontario out? Can we shout out Ophelia? She's Alberta. always she's always coming with the with the with the notes, the trivia that we need. When we don't say something right, she's got us. We love you, Ophelia. Shout That's out true. to you, we do. friend. OG. All right, gang. On we gotta get note, out of here. We gotta get out of here. Wordsmith, we love you. Thank you. You are welcome here anytime. You know that. I was very happy to hear that you wanted to be on this week. Yeah. For everybody else, thank you again. We will see y'all next week, 8 p.m. right here on Love Wrestling. And you know the drill. Until then. Peace. Team IWS, baby, this weekend. A. You, gotta push, you gotta push the button. Push I the know. button, eh? Push the push Oh, the like take off, eh? I take know. off. Hey, huh? Hey, Rads. Oh, hey, Rads. Can't even. Piss off. <laughs>